Hey, welcome to a special edition of our podcast, Tito. I know that we usually plan to do something at the beginning of the week. You know, we didn't get to do that this t past podcast episode that we recorded. Facts. It's going to come out full length on Friday, but we couldn't do that without talking about what happened in Uvalde, Texas. You know, it hit all of us the day of. We were in the group chat, like, and I think Jose, our editor, was like, dude, you got to see this in, in like a, a, a TV screen reading what it said and it didn't feel believable that at the time 14 kids passed away and one adult and i think as of right now as of where we're recording it's turned into 19 children and two adults that passed away in uvalde texas children that look like all of my sons like your nephew, children that look like your nieces like my niece you know and, and the shooter is also part of our community. They, there's no way that we can't talk about this. You know, we wouldn't be responsible to who we are as a podcast, who we are as Letty, as Duno. Vic couldn't be here today because we really just were like, hey, we gotta, we gotta get something in, and, and Vic's taking care of things with little Vic, so that's definitely worth Power it. Part to him, yeah. yeah. Um, but it was really tough to just see all of that go down, and and again, see the faces that look like faces that we all know of. You know. You know what did where were you when you like saw all of this stuff going down? So you know, social media has a power of its own, yeah. and like Twitter was for sure, definitely like when I started seeing it. But when you see like school shooting, you just automatically hope and think like hopefully somebody just shot or had a gun in the school and they got rid of it and they took care of the problem. Right. But I seen the the shit and yeah. then boom, you read fourteen kids and you're like fuck. And then when you think elementary school, it's like bro. Mm -hmm. Just out the wound like three years ago, yep. four years ago, five years ago, six years ago. And the shit could really fuck with you just because, like, I'm not no parent. I don't have no kids, but I do have nieces and nephews. Yeah. So I think right away, I think me and you were talking about something else. And you're like, damn, you seen that shit? I was like, fuck, like, how does it make you feel? And you're like, well, fuck. Like, imagine somebody were to walk into Luisito yeah. Dorajito school and, and do something track just like that. And then yeah. and it's such a, and it's a such, and it's such a sensitive time with... All the shit we got going to politics and yet the um I don't know how do you say the 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 city you made that co whole community ninety percent of it is Latino, mm -hmm. and I mean no matter what race or color it is kids are kids you know what I mean but it does touch a little more home when they look exactly my bad don't make us look stupid Uvalde Uvalde, Uvalde okay Texas. yes or Uvalde Texas but it does touch way more mm -hmm. when it's like fuck because I think the first kid that identifies the last name was Lopez and that's my last name. So you're like, damn, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. And then you start seeing all these parents come out and then you hear shit like immigration is there and then you start seeing like stupid ass fucking, and I'm gonna just say it, because this is a white lady that said this shit, yeah. where she's like, we feel sorry for this kid, but what this was this kid an illegal immigrant? Yeah, the shooter. The, the shooter, and I'm like, no, you mm -hmm. fucking idiot. Yeah. He was a fucking citizen with a fucking problem. Mm -hmm. He's a fucking idiot. Like, fuck yeah. him, I don't give a fuck. I'm not claiming him. He's a piece of shit, food. You feel me? But... Same way, low key, white people don't claim those mer like shooters of their own. It's not yeah. like we turn it on like a race. You know, she automatically had to assume like, yeah, well, was he in the little bitch? Just because the fucking the little town, the town is sixty miles from the border, doesn't right. mean that fucking he was in a limo. I can't even Illegal talk. Immigrant. Illegal immigrant. He was. You feel me? Like he's a piece of shit. Anyways, yeah. but yeah. And they come the, in all colors. Yeah, and they come in all colors, sizes, whatever the mm -hmm. fuck. But yeah, man, that that shit was just like, damn, kids, yeah. fool. Like that shit is crazy, bro. Like, and then you don't even know what it like. I just I recently have a homegirl that her baby passed away in her sleep, uh. and then you don't even like. What do you tell that person? Oh, hey, I'm sorry. Like, what the, like what the fuck is that gonna do? Like, you shit not gonna make you feel better. At least not at the moment. But you know what I mean. So to them parents, I'm not really good at speaking that stuff like this because I'm usually like yeah. the one who bring happiness and comedy and life to mm -hmm. shit. But at this moment, um, I want to send my prayers to all of them, you feel me? Yeah. To all the paisanos, you know, keep working, keep striving. You feel me? To the, con to the country, to the state of Texas, to the city of... How do you say it again? Uvalde. Uvalde. Our prayers are, you know, from the brown back, from doing all, from everybody. You feel me? And shit, like... We're here with you. And, yeah, and, and yeah. I, know, I know it's a lot to even just be able to talk about. Uh, we are a podcast, though, for 
people that are mm-hmm. Latino everywhere. We're definitely LA based, but we see so many people from Texas that listen to us, that watch us, that share <sighs> our podcast and our posts. So you're family to us. And I think just even the bigger aspect of it being like the, the Latino community, we're so scared already because of what's going on. And to see it now, not even reach like people being hateful to us, but seeing our children pass away, like they shouldn't make caskets that size. Caskets shouldn't come in kid sizes. And the fact that not just one kid passed away, a group of children passed away. It feels like, you know, like the world is crazy. It feels like heartbreaking. It feels like soul stress, like your soul is getting ripped apart. And then you have to go to work the next day. And then you have to go to school the next day. And then life moves on. And pretty soon another tragedy is going to hit. And a lot of times, like when I had a friend that passed away in high school mm. and they brought in grief counselors, they brought in people yeah. to talk to you. Like, even if you Kinda didn't like know therapist. the person, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. even if you didn't know the person, like, hey, we're here for you. Right. 100%. But this and, and because you just might feel a way this stuff is happening in our phones, which is basically right next to us. But no one's giving us grief counseling. And that's what we're all feeling, whether you're mad, whether you're sad, upset, scared. All of that comes from being being seeing this right here or in the news and feeling something in your heart but no one is here to help you through those feelings you're just getting told let's move on all right all right next day all right talk about it tweet about it get mad about uh, to people about it and i think that's what's really the worst part is that we're traumatized we have so much trauma in us even this past year like the this past couple years the covid stuff people dying in our family people friends of ours passing away all of that hits She's us crazy. but we got to keep going you know none of that is is uh take a step back breathe in breathe out figure feel your feelings it's just like all right you got it another day is going to happen you know no nah, yeah and i think when um yeah like my mom was like mom like my mom see me walk in and she's like Damn, that's crazy. You guys talked about it? And then, because cause it's like when you're getting DMs from people from Texas, I was getting crazy DMs like, hey, man, I know you guys are funny. I know you're funny. I know yeah. what you do individually, but the podcast, but the brown bag, you guys represent the Latino community, very big part of it. Like, my mom was like, damn, that's a that's a crazy reality, right? And you're like, yeah. fuck. Like, because I remember when, because I remember when Shandy Hook happened. Mm. I was like, damn, I was younger, but I wasn't doing what I'm doing now, obviously, with, like, being a public figure and doing what right. the fuck I do. And then she was like, she's like, she's like, because I remember me and her talked about the Sandy Hook one when it happened, and she's like, damn, that's sad, right? Like, sad. she's like, fuck, like, she's like, damn, like, she's like, I would have never in a million years, it would have not crossed my mind sending us to school would be the last thing. So imagine how those parents feel like, where you're supposed to be the most safest. Yeah. The most safest in the world. They always say it, it, you survive from, you know what I mean? Like the school is supposed to be, this. Yeah. and you fucking go to school and you lose fucking your kid. Yeah. It's crazy. And then yeah, I want to touch on this too. I seen that um, people were reporting that immigration was there. Yeah. I read a couple of things, but I think the one thing that I did read that kind of made more sense to me was that um, I think everybody, all first responders go. So oh. I think just because. Immigration is close to the border. Yeah. It makes sense why they were there. I don't want to say I'm not with the immigration. I don't. Yeah. You feel me? But I think they were there just for the safety. I don't think they were there trying to deport or anything. Right. But if they were, fuck them because you're a piece of shit. If you weren't there to do that. Right. But if you weren't, you know what I mean? Just, you know, I'm just kind of going based off the things I was reading and trying not to read too much into it because I know the internet could be kind of yeah, tricky. Yeah, you definitely have to filter your, yeah, what you read because a lot of it is like shock value and for shock factor. Yeah. Like, and oh my God, on top of this, ICE was there. And it's like, what that brings to our community, we don't need that. Because if yeah. that's not true, you just scared a whole bunch of people, people that you yeah. didn't need to do that. Because imagine... That's even more traumatizing. Because imagine a parent getting like... You've all the like, oh, there was a shooting at this and this. Yeah, and now you're oh, and then while you're on your way there, but then your your tia or primo or cousin calls you and goes like, well, maybe you shouldn't go because there's immigration there. Yeah. And then now you're mm-hmm. fucking stuck in the middle of, I don't know how big you've all I don't know how. Yeah. But like, imagine it's like, bro, that shit is fucking crazy, dog. Mm-hmm. So, but I think. Yeah, that's good that you touched on that. You know, yeah. you're the youngest one in the in the podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, did you guys have active shooter drills at your school? Or did they ever, like, go over that with you? You know what's crazy about that is that this is going to sound crazy, but I think being part of L.A., you're just kind of, like, fuck, I don't want to say it in the wrong way, yeah. but I think you're just somewhat accustomed to some, some bad shit always happening, right. 
but I'm I'm not saying that it's like it no, can't happen. Yeah. But you but know how they no, had earthquake drills. Yeah, yeah but have... but mm, I don't remember. Yeah. Eh. But I do remember it's always like locked. The, I think they went over like a they went. I think they saw like, like a video. Call, yeah, yeah. yeah, like because I think when I was in school is when the active shooting was. There was like a lot of active shooting yeah. going on. So I remember they like. Don't try to be a hero. Lock the door. Stay in. Be against the wall. Where yeah. like and shit like that. So, but That's never traumatizing. Yeah, yeah, but it was never like oh duck. Like it was because yeah. you know yeah, earthquake. Like, like, get under your, your yeah, so it was really never like that. But I mean, shit. Like I like it still blows my mind how huh? you don't see somebody with a rifle walk in. Yeah, that is fucking crazy. Yeah. I personally think. There should be an armed security at schools. Yeah. Like at like just at because there there should only be there should only be one entrance. Like in my the high school I went to when you walk in, right. stop who you're here with. Right. They call. They make sure. And lucky we're used to it because we go to schools where they have metal detectors. They have security yeah, they, because of us. Cause they have police. Yeah. It's a, so they have make school sure police. You don't ditch or yeah. Any yeah. Like so that, so. How about one to protect us? Yeah. Just I mean I I'm I'm because because I know I'm elementary could be very sensitive like there's yeah. kids you feel me but. Yeah, that's fucking crazy, bro. Like well, even like a, a, a this story is get it gets so heartbreaking. So apparently, from what I was told this morning, and things change, so I don't want to make it like, like a fact uh, fact. But don't quote her that on he barricaded himself inside the the classroom, and all those kids were in the same class. So like he just it was he, one he he and and the teachers there, right? So if he barricades himself there, and I'm sure the teachers are trained or at least told you can only train a person so much if a person with somebody AK calm. comes in what do you do and he did such a horrific thing that they could only identify kids by dna because of what he did to these children that's it's that's not like and i think i don't know if in like your your mind of minds you think like and this is so, but like, oh, they just got shot in the heart and then they, they passed away. It must have been a horrifying nightmare. Oh, so they had to they go really to the hospital and take blood on and things like that to, for the DNA? For the DNA of the families to, to find confirm. out who's whose kid. And like, that is insane to me because you shouldn't ever have to go through that. And that just speaks to the mind of this person um, That's crazy, and just the though. evil that was in that room. And what happened to these children, it's more than just something that we can see and then fight about on Twitter about either gun control or immigration or whose fault it is. Like, that's nothing compared to what happened to humans. Like, I hate that we politicize shit instead of humanizing shit. Yeah, that's you know, like, I, literally, I promise you, like, as a mom, I think of my children now. Uh, and Jorge, you know, Jorge is yeah. super balanced. He's I'm the emotional one. Yeah. But even it shakes him. Like, now, do we take them to daycare anymore? Or things like that. Like, the guilt parents must feel going through you that. Like, for you, like, overthink shit. Yeah. That, and then and it's in our daily lives. We're not in Texas, but yeah. it's definitely affecting our daily lives. 100%. You know? And I think when you what you said, um, you said we, we put a lot of... We, Politicized, we, yeah. Yeah, and then instead of him... That's why when I read that fucking tweet from that lady, and I'm pretty sure she's yeah. a... You know what I mean? She's red all the yeah. way, you know what I mean? But when I read that shit, I was like, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Kids it died and you, her, right she now. was like, sorry for the kids dying, but was he an illegal, yeah. was he an illegal immigrant? And I'm like, my mom's an illegal immigrant. Right. And, <laughs> and, and, and mean, she's yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, you fucking like, don't try to put that shit. No, he was born here. Because he, then he, what that does for, is for, that, He's a Latino American, yeah. just like me and Letty. Yep. He just happened to be a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. And I'm going to just say it like that. Like, I know we're supposed to like kind of just, nah, but that's no. fucked up. Them kids ain't doing nothing to you, bro. Like, no. And I don't know, bro, like, to them parents, you know, and and they don't speak English, so I'm going to say this in Spanish, que Dios te con ustedes, you know, que Dios los bendiga, ya sé que nada los va a hacer, you know what I mean, porque, like, like see, I can't even say it in Spanish, yeah. you don't even know what the fuck to say. There's no but words. like, Yeah, even me, like, when addressing it, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's nothing you can, like, th like we say, thoughts and prayers, the, yeah, what is shit, that even? It's quite, like, yeah. yeah, that shit is crazy, bro. Sí, que Dios te con ustedes, and que... You know, sigan adelante con la vida. Yo sé que va a ser duro, pero... Yeah. And, and even, like, parents, period. Like, and children, period. Yeah, that's like, crazy. You're living in a life, and I don't want to make it negative and that this world is over, and that's because there's a lot of good things about the world, but I just feel, as a parent, it's not just an honor to be a parent. There's a responsibility to be a parent, but when the world makes it so hard for you to trust 
things you should be trusting, like a school, like, and not that you don't trust the school, but like to have kids in school without these risks and these dangers of this being a reality. You know, I know you said Han Sandy Hook. When I was growing up, the one that we had was Columbine, and it was probably like, I swear to God, we thought it was like a rare occurrence that this never happened. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. The, on one time this ever happened. And it's like now you're just seeing it happen over and over at so many different places that it's like, why is this so common? You know, they did like a breakdown of all of the shootings, like mass school shootings. And I think it was like the U.S. had 280 something. And the next um, country was Mexico and they had like three or like it's like that's the gap between. That like, is uh, fuck. You're you talking know? about them. And, and it's just it's a lot. It's a lot to process. We're all still processing it. A lot of you that watch us and listen to us, your parents, too. You have kids, too, or kids in your life. We talk about being kids a lot in the podcast. It's one of our favorite things to do is go back in time and think of what a, a fun childhood we have. I don't want to rob our children of that, you know? Yeah. Normally, people say, like, damn, I, like, you know, even, like, I hope I make it past 25 or something is what yeah, Pac yeah. said. Imagine saying, I hope I make it past seven. That is crazy. They shouldn't be, that shouldn't happen. Because you gotta think about it, right? It's fucking this happened yesterday, right? Am I mistaken? Yeah, it Was happened it, Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. Okay, right. It happened Tuesday. There's a week left of school, you guys. Yeah. Summer is coming up. A lot of those kids might have had plans to go yeah. visit families. Some of them are probably training for summer ball. Some of them are probably on their way to <laughs> fucking middle school, fucking fifth grade, which is probably one of the funnest grades I remember. Yeah. Some of those kids fucking, that shit is crazy, yeah. bro. It's it's way too much to think about, and I just want to tell you guys, you know, take that time. Feel those feelings, but don't make it uh, about an argument. Make it about what what are you really feeling in your heart? What are you really feeling when you think of your family? Process that, because no one's going to, they're not here for us. They're not sending counselors to us, right? The government's not doing that. We have to take care, care of ourselves. If we don't take care of ourselves, we just become traumatized, numb, and we t start acting out on our fears, our anger, our frustration. So the biggest thing, the best thing you could do for yourself is really take account of that. You know, it's weird that it's Mental Health Awareness Month, and I don't want to make month equals, like, this is when we pay attention, but maybe do take the time to pay attention to it. We don't do therapy in Latino community a lot, but you don't need to know. Because it's kind of, like, yeah, looked down upon and shit. how much getting a friend and talking to them and saying, like, you know what, I'm normally not vulnerable, but today I want to be vulnerable with you. That's like a therapy session. And you're going to leave feeling better. Even if you get that little bit of moment to help yourself internally, it's going to help your outside world. No, nah, yeah, so, that shit is crazy. But yeah, man. I don't know, when we when we decided to kind of make its own clip about this, yeah. I, was, I was like, fuck, I don't know. Like, I don't, like you don't yeah, even know kind of what it is. Yeah, but, damn. And my hearts are with parents, my hearts are with children. Uh, it's really crazy to me that there are active shooter drills and it's literally, we're traumatizing kids too with these drills and I know they they feel like it needs to happen, but imagine telling little kids like, hey, if someone comes trying to come in, I'm going to try to ward them off. You guys throw everything you can at them, get scissors, start stabbing them or run out. It's like you're telling that to little kids. Like, And I've seen a lot of stories about teachers saying when they did those drills with their children in, in class, kids are gonna break down like what do you mean like you're gonna stay and fight them you could die i'm not gonna like the, these things are very complex um ideas and and things that are they don't understand could even happen and we're putting that in their brain this early and it sucks i understand why it happens but i also is it, it my heart is with parents i'm i'm gonna see that in my children too and it's like when it comes to that how are we gonna tackle it you know i, I don't want to keep this going longer yeah, yeah, but, but like this this was really important for us, you know. We can't help but to look at those faces and see people that we love too. And those are actually people that um, are a family member to someone, a brother, a daughter, a sister, a cousin, a niece, a nephew. And our hearts are with you, you know. Yeah, we we do crazy. not we do not take this lightly, and and we definitely move forward together with that always in our mind. We're never gonna forget this. Just like people remember 9-11, this is something that we, I think, more specifically because we're Hispanic and all of these children were, and even the shooter was, unfortunately, we, we're going to hold this on. And to the parents and to to anyone affected, yeah, we're, we're here and we're with you. Yeah, that shit is crazy, but um, yeah, yeah we're here with Hopefully you Hopefully we didn't get too sad. I definitely just want to reiterate, reiterate, take some time to, to see what's up 
inside you and your spirit and on some real shit. Yeah, like, and then and then this wasn't to like just talk about it. We just kind of more kind of express our feelings, how we how we feel about it, and just this is therapy. Yeah, right here. yeah, and we then open up to each other 100%. like we don't anywhere else. Yeah, so. and then sending our love. I know we have a lot of fans in Texas, and then I was getting a couple DMs where I think a lot of people were from San Antonio, like, mm-hmm. and I know um. Uvalde is, is, is not too far from San Antonio. I think about 40 to 60 miles away. So, I mean, if you guys know somebody, just let them know the brown bike sends our love. The world sends their love. Yeah. Our 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 friends, our families, We they know that they kind of rely on us, that we have a, 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 a platform to talk about it. So we send our loves. We love you guys. And um, Uvalde, we're with you guys. And to all the parents, the Latinos, the just anybody in general, just any kid, any no matter what color, no matter none of that, just... We're here with you guys, and we send our hearts, yeah, for sure. It's love. Bye, guys. We are back. Episode 48, you guys. Brown Bag. Brown Bag Podcast. Ah! And today's actually probably the one where there's going to be just so much going on, fun facts and funny things. Yeah. We're gonna start off. We've been talking about this since probably like Forever. episode. I don't know. Forever what episode. What the I think it was the first episode. Where I'm like, who do you think is the most Mexican, or how much, how Mexican do you think you are? And yeah. then do you know you're like whatever Vic is more I'm than that. that. <laughs> oh no, because then I also answered like I eat hot Cheetos in the morning. Right, right, right. So whatever episode that was, that's as far back as we've been thinking. Who is the most Mexican, and also who's the most European? Who is the most Spaniard? Who is the colonizer in the group? The colonizer in the group? One in three people are colonizers or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm what? glad you said one in three people. Statistically speaking. Okay, so we did our 23 and me. Which took about a month to get here. Which, yeah. And it was kind of like, and when you do stuff like that, you're kind of like thinking about it throughout the whole time until you get yes. it. Yes. Yeah. You're when like searching called, like. When I got it, I called Vic right away. Like, you got it? He's like, yeah, I got it. You checked yours. I'm like, I checked mine. <laughs> yeah. When I got it, I was stuck for a while. I was just sitting there like, whoa. Like, <laughs> right. this is like, because we all like assume we know things. We talk right. to our family and we ask them certain things like, hey, what do you know about your grandparents? Mm-hmm. Where did they come from? We try to go as far back as we can sometimes with our older relatives. But a lot of it is, to an extent, speculation. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, a, a game of telephone. Yeah. Could get the country wrong because they just forgot it's been so much time. So this sets the record. This straight. is like it's irrefutable yeah. pretty much. It's you know backed what I'm by science. Exactly. And look here, it trips me out that in your saliva all of this can be told about you. Right. Like your saliva can tell where all of your ancestors are from. DNA. Like, that's hey, so freaky. wild. Yeah, they could tell you where all your ancestors been. Facts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yours, colonizer. <laughs> Anyways, Stop. what we're gonna do, we have not shared with each other with the group what the percentages are so we're gonna pop on screen one of our percentages and we're gonna guess whose it is okay so the first person that we are popping on screen is um and it's gonna just the way that this is segregated is like native in what is it in, oh Indigenous American. Indigenous American, but that is America, Canada, South America. That's Mexican yeah. located. It basically goes more based off of continents Continent. than actual countries. Yeah. Like regions and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's pull the first one. Up. First one. First one. So okay. this says. 50 per- 57% in. Wait, okay. East Asian. East Asian and Indigenous American. Who do you think is 56.6% Indigenous American? And 31% European. This is Vic. Is this Vic? 31% is a lot of white in you. 31% a lot of, is At the end of the movie of, of Apocalypto. But 57 is a lot of Mexican. That's yeah, more but, than that. Okay, but is everybody looking over 9.1% <laughs> <laughs> sub-Saharan African? Like West African. <laughs> right. That's a lot of percent, wow, kind of. Look at that. Ooh, okay. And there's more at the bottom, but we're just going to go up here. But so this is go okay. But three main ones. this oh. is like a little closer to like sixty forty. If you want to kind of be more simplistic about yeah. it, so if, shout out to this person. If I were to say somebody was sixty forty, European and indigenous, I would choose Letty. Wow. Damn, I, would, I have to go with Vic on this. I have to go with 
me on this because it's me. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. So, so you're European. Okay, fool. get the fuck out no, of here, bro. That's, no, that's what's an, an impressive. Spanish? That's but, you, but you know what it does? It comes from your Savi side, I think, as well. Okay, bro. Oh, but I'm also, <laughs> what's it called? I'm hello Latino. Yeah, facts. Fifty-seven percent is more than half. I know. All right, let's go to the next one because clearly, and then there's Daniel there's like there's subtext to that where it says uh, like Indigenous like American. That really means like North, North America, America. Yes. and that really means either like uh, Mexico or Central America. Okay. So yeah. All right, twenty percent European, seventy-one percent Indigenous American. This is fucking Duno. <laughs> Filipino Do you know you're and Lok- Austrian you're Filipino? Yeah, bro, okay, this is me. It's, it's, it's Dad, you're only 3% African. I'm 9%. What's wow. up? Bro, and, and bro, you guys, this is a fucking no-brainer. What? I don't like a fucking Asian, and I'm fucking... This wow. Yeah, it's because you're Tienes Ojitos. I know, that's... that's yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. Jalado, yeah, for when sure. When you told me that, I was like, oh, damn, that makes sense. No more, like, speculation. Like, yeah. See, but look, so he w- told you, you fucking cheater. No, no, I just... I assume I told him, Dude, I told him. No, we didn't... No, we didn't... We didn't say percentages or anything. He's like... I'm like, oh, did anything you surprise you? Oh, He's like, I'm fucking Asian. He's like, I'm fucking Asian, fool. <laughs> but look, you're way more white than me. And yeah. I'm and I'm twenty percent. You're twenty percent European. It is Indian way. So you're seventy <laughs> you're seventy wow, percent wow. indigenous American. So mine's is seventy thirty? My yours is seven no. Cause yeah, why is it seventy twenty? And oh, cause there's uh sub Saharan African. Yeah. yeah. Okay, 70, 20. Yeah, for, I'm like a pocalito, fool. <laughs> you are. I'm like straight from the, from the tribe. Mr. Nopal Boys. The super Nopal Boys. Okay, let's see what Vicky. This is an embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> wow. No, bro. Am I more than you? Like bro. more Latino than you? Bro. Okay, let's see. You're 20%. What? Hold on. Hold bro, on. You're a fucking racist. <laughs> so then what are you? <laughs> Wait, look, pull up the other one. I said I said it to you too. What? Isn't this the first one? Vic, you can't say fool anymore, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> bro. What the fuck? It says I'm 100 percent Victor. No, that's all I'm focused on. You're 73. <laughs> percent You're like the flip of what Duno is. Duno 70 something percent um, Indigenous American. You're 73 percent European. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. That shit, honestly, it caught me like off guard. Like, yo, I'm that. Euro- like, right. I knew I had some European in me, but like, I'm that You're European. You're 22% Indigenous American. Yeah, let's clap it up for that. <laughs> Bro. No? You fucking you talk- Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't me. Wow. You, what was really surprising about this, too? Okay, so look. Southern European. Bro, you gotta think about it. You could go for like, uh-huh. but Loki, maybe that's why you're a little swag. You go for like Cristiano Ronaldo and some <laughs> shit like that. Like your favorite, yeah. your favorite team is probably like Real Madrid. And so shit. look, so look, Southern European. So look, Spanish and Portuguese region. Italian. Um, that that really surprised me. Seven yeah. percent Italian. I knew there was a reason why I like pasta and Jersey Shore so much. <laughs> so I love Jersey crazy. Shore. That's weird, right? Yeah. That should trip me out. Say it, Ryan. And then try- Ryan, <laughs> stop <sad>. it, Ryan. <laughs> and then trying to it explains like my really good hair, I think, a little bit too. But um, it's hey, really man. it's really interesting. Uh, I did like some more research and like where my uh, mom's uh, family's from is definitely like we're saying it's European settlers, like not where they came through. Yeah, not yeah. too many generations back. You know Dang. what I'm saying? That's why like my mom has blue eyes and um, and then where <laughs> we think she like her family originated is. The like Basque people, which are on like the um, border of France and Spain, like around there. So, so very um, so somewhere in interesting. Back in the day, one of your great 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 came grandfathers on came on a ship and fell in love with India. Yeah. Uh, wow. No, no, I I think it's more <laughs> no, complicated no. than that. You think? But so? okay, wait. Also, two uh, percent African. So you know. You know what that means? Wow, two percent, three percent. I'm nine percent. You're nine percent. That's why you're a hip hop head. Facts. No, that's not be stereotypical. <laughs> but damn, Vic, that's crazy. Can you yeah. even be a brown bag? Oh uh, what? Damn. You know, what? I have to start beige bag now. You're a beige, beige bag. bag. <laughs> Vic was literally brown like bag the- light. But you know, like, you know, like, mi güerito, el güerito, like, el güero, fix yeah. that. Like, no. the corridos are made for you, dad. Wow, bro. <laughs> oh, you know what I tripped out on? Okay, so this came on the same day that we dropped that clip about um, 
about Don Francisco. Uh-huh. So, Don Francisco. so it just made me question my whole existence. I'm Whatever like, oh, I'm over here. I'm over here like being surprised at him. I'm surprised at myself. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And then I saw people were like saying that he was like um, Ashkenazi Jewish or something like yeah. that. And, I, and then it said I'm 2% Ashkenazi Jewish too. I'm like, what the fuck? You're more Don Francisco. <laughs> I, I am Don Victor Dang, in the flesh. Vic. Well, now we know what we already thought. <laughs> I'm 22 percent. You feel like you're 22 percent? So yeah. Bad. Dang. So it makes sense. So when I break it down in like my head yeah. to be more simplistic, like okay, my Dang. my grandpa, um, definitely like indigenous for sure. My grandpa. Oh, you guys didn't meet him. He came to the. The meet and greet after. Oh, nice. Super, yeah, for sure. That's definitely where I get my indigenous from. My grandma is super light, has red hair. And then oh, my wow. both my grandparents on my mom's side, super light skin, blue eyes. So I kind of, it kind of yeah. makes sense when you, you know what I'm saying? Dang. When you, um, when you have sex with Traviesa, are you conquering her? <laughs> <laughs> When you play like that. When you, when, you, when you ask her to do something, are you being her oppressor? Wow. <laughs> if she wants me to. <laughs> but Travesa looks white too. Uh, no. Nah, she actually has a car de nopal. Yeah, she does. Tiene car de just cross the border for sure. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. gonna come fuck you up, bro. Travesa is okay, I got squabbles. Wow, well there we have it. Shout out to our ancestry. Yeah. 23 and me. 23 and me. No, but it's our answer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Facts, 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 yep. Ooh, I would like to see, like, a little bit more deeper. Like, even in my breakdown one, it talks about, like, being Salvadorian and the central part mm. of Mexico and stuff. And it's cool. It's low-key. Like, I know I know where my family's from, but when you see it, like, scientifically, you're like, oh, damn. You can yeah, like, too. so, like, I always assume my family was just from El Defe, but um, my grandma and my grandpa, they come from, my grandpa's from Michoacan, which he's super white, like, right. light-skinned. And then and then fucking my, and then fucking um my grandma's from Veracruz, wow. super India, super del del de la Sierra, you know what I mean? So, yeah. so when so when we're watching that when I when Vic showed me how to do the breakdown, uh -huh. I was like, oh, it makes sense why my family comes from Jalisco and stuff like that. Wow, Jalisco me truck on part. Yeah, yeah, Jalisco me truck and shit like that. that Even when I looked into my um my indigenous American and like the more of a breakdown, it had one Juato up there, which is where my dad's from. Mm -hmm. But the number one that they think I'm more likely from. Is Jalisco. Ow, shout out Man. to all, oh, all of us. My, mine said my that too. too? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Brown bag. Narcos. Yeah. And it was crazy that we're talking right now. And Esther, shout out Esther, by the way, you guys. Esther the lawyer. Yeah. yeah. She was literally, her and Vic's family are from the same pueblo. Wow. In their country. Yeah. I mean, in their country in Mexico. <laughs> Made it seem like it's only the white country. <laughs> See, like, it says that I'm from highly likely from El Salvador, then highly likely from Jalisco. Highly likely pupusas. <laughs> highly likely tacos. <laughs> And Jalisco is it, is it more like um, ceviche, like mariscos? I don't know what part. I, I don't no. know what they do in Jalisco. Jalisco is in by the water? Tequila. Tequila. Oh, tequila. That's drunk. We invented it. Yeah. Mezcal. Facts. Oh, and birria too. Facts. Birria. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Yeah. But both of us fire. But Arre. Yeah. How would you guys And Honduras. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense right next to Salvador. Oh, yeah. True. Well, shout out to us. Shout out to our ancestry. Bring it up. Facts. Shout out to our ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> Your ancestors ruin our <laughs> lives. <laughs> so our next topic is how the Spaniards just fucked us all. Wow. Starting with syphilis. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Smallpox. Oh, shit. So how was that video? You went this okay, weekend? Okay, yeah, I went this weekend with Jorge and the boys. It's tough just because you're waiting a really long line. Like, all the lines are long. I every yeah. single line. And there's no... There's no like direction. beat the line. There's no yeah, VIP. Yeah, there's no direction. There's no VIP. <laughs> everyone is everyone. Yeah. Like, fuck VIP there. Um, but it was really cool. My youngest, he's having. He's just been. They both got really sick over the weekend. They're still sick right now. So they weren't having too great of a time. I took my youngest in the car to drive around. Moms know this. Like literally, if they're if they're acting up, it's gonna be on us to take them out while dad like Jorge. And Jorito, they had a totally different experience than me and Luisito. <laughs> me, me and Luisito, it's like, okay, calm me Luisito down. Jorge and Jorito is like turning up at San Pedro, like, ooh, eating shrimp. And it's like, With all the right, Rolex bro. is on? Yeah. Assholes. Because <laughs> literally, and, and, and parents get this, like, it'll be one that takes the baby out while the other one's just eating, like, do 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 And then the one that takes the baby out is pissed. 
Because low key, I, it's just me. I'm pissed. Um, but it's they want me. They want mom. Yeah. So literally, Jorge can just enjoy his dinner. They're both gonna be like climbing on me or crying for me, and I'm just there like, man, you don't understand how good you have it. Yeah. Like as a dad, so that's how it went for me. But people were coming up and saying what's up. Um, shout out to JP Murals, the one that did the the Nipsey, the, yeah, the Nipsey um, with you and the project. Yeah, and then that knows um, Maximo. 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 He was there. He was celebrating his sister's graduation. She graduated from CSUN. Oh, so shout right. out to her and everybody that's shout graduating. Out the shout out yeah. all yeah. the Latinos yeah. graduating. The Latinos graduating. Love that. It's so dope to watch you guys. You know what's crazy is that I, my baddies I went to school with they graduated this year. Oh like, come on, baby girl. Oh, I saw your tweet. I let you go. <laughs> uh, if I let you live live in. Oh and for God. UC Berkeley, I see, for even that season, it isn't that far. Yeah. You went to UC Riverside, you oh, know what I mean? Crazy. I know it's a little thoughty school. I know you probably did some thought activity. <laughs> but come home. I'm come missing. home. Come, come, come home to Papa. Come home. <laughs> Look, uh, her name is Maria Stephanie Reyes. Shout out to you. From Pacoima, graduated CSUN. I just want to big you up. Big up Project, Project Baby. Up. Project Baby. Project Baby yeah. made it and graduated. There we go. You know, my, one of my goals, one of my goals for us is that someone puts on their cap something brown bag related. Oh, that would be Cause sick. Because you know how like, you could decorate yeah. your cap? Yeah. That would be Fire. If you do tag us, you're our number one fan, VIP, oh, in yeah. all our parties. <laughs> do you guys ever regret not going to college? Not like that, but like, like you, you went like four I went years. To college. <laughs> I went to college, <laughs> bro. But you do guys you didn't regret going to college too? No, no, but you guys didn't graduate from the, like a university. Oh, you mean like, like going oh, away to college? Like, like, like doing like, the whole real life experience. Like mm -hmm. getting the the hundred thousand dollar paper. You mean? Yeah, or like you know, just like, like going to frat parties. Like, oh yeah, party, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like wish that. I, yeah, I wish I would have like paid more attention in high school to be able to like go. I would have loved to go to like another city for college mm -hmm. and then come back. You know, and like at twenty two, that would have been dope. I sometimes think about it like because I see like all the cool shit that right. some of the homegirls and the homies you like. FOMO? And, and then it's like the and it's like the littlest things like you want to be you want to have a toga party. We'll do it for you, bro. Don't worry. And I'm just like, <laughs> damn. I wish I would have gone to college because I would have like. Next episode, we're having a toga party for Duno. I don't know what that is. See? It's frat shit. It's frat shit. Frat I'm down to do a frat party just to live frat life. And low-key people are in the frats trying to live adult li like party like adults party. You can't come in, bro. There's already too many guys, bro. <laughs> Brown. Well, what's a, is there a such thing as a fraternity sorority like in the same? Oh, yeah. like, like I don't know. Like, like a, a co-ed? Co yeah, like a co-ed one, yeah. Because oh, no, it would have to be brown bag frat rorty because <laughs> it's for the girls and the guys that'll be fine we should legit we plan a lot of shit y'all clearly we're just throwing ideas around here this is just a brainstorm but it would be cool to have a toga party yeah that'd be fine that'd be kind of cool okay. yeah it's Can your you ancestry bro it's like greek or something i'm not greek no. okay i'm italian <laughs> <laughs> you're right we have the we have the caesar salad it was made in tj not the greek salad <laughs> Oh, big. But what's your order at San Pedro? Seafood, of course. Yeah, Jorge likes the... Um, we went to a line that it was a bunch of shrimp. He loves shrimp. I'm not too big on shrimp. But like I said, Luisito was crying. So I left with him. And when I came back, all it was is shrimp. And I'm like, dog, you didn't get like langosta, fish. Like mm. He's like, I like shrimp. And I was like, cool. Or the what about me? or michelada, the fish uh, sarandiado, like that. Yeah, shit is every day it's all bomb. Even the bread is the bomb. bread. Like, I was about to say the bread incredible. is like damn near my favorite. The one, yeah. time, the one time I remember going there, the, my mom was like, "Choose the fish you want." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "What the fuck does that mean?" And she's like, yeah, "Look, it's swimming. You could choose the one you want." I'm like, "I don't want to eat the shit, chicken tenders and fries. Yes. <laughs> and get me a chicken coke. I'm, I'm, I'm be waiting over there." She's like, "Ando para que venita para que no comer." And I was like, "Bro, just leave me the fuck yeah. alone." That shit is I, crazy. I don't like the fact that I gotta kill fucking Nemo before I eat it. Like, I don't want to be able to choose Nemo. You don't want to see it happen. Yeah, yeah. Just it's really up. like you like you see one and you're like, oh, that one looks amazing. Right. And you're like, I want that one. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're like the ones here. Oh yeah. I, you know? Have you ever seen the literal crabs in a bucket mm -hmm. and played with them? We used to go to like this Asian market and they had like crabs in a bucket and my dad would pick them. But me and my sister just spent the whole time in the in the in the market them, like, picking at them. And then les salen babas like there is just a lot. Oh, we man. shouldn't be doing shit that we did to crabs. Sorry, <laughs> sorry crabs. <laughs> You're delicious though. <laughs> what's your favorite? Like, what's your seafood order? Um, like, what do you like? Oh, you don't. Oh, I'm allergic to shrimp. I'm just not a fan of it. But if I do, I'll, does high buckets come? Haiba is imitation. Is imitation yeah. crab. Yeah. Low key, haiba is like the first vegan. Like, we all say, like, how you can't be vegetarian because we're Latino. That's legit vegetarian as fuck. That's fake 
Crab. Yeah. I love, I love. Which tastes like crab. I love Thanks. Haiva. I love Haiva. Haiva is the shit. What about you, Vic? Um, I mean, a lot of things. I love the aguachiles, um, yeah. langostas. I feel like horrible. seafood doesn't fill you up. It doesn't. It doesn't. But it up. feels light. Yeah, ceviche, I like, I like, yeah, When ceviche I was in Vegas, I had the and then that's best how you shit drink, ever. Yeah. Mariscos, las islitas. Oh, when you went to... To Vegas? Mm-hmm. That shit was so fucking good. And then that's why you drink michelada. Because michelada, like, mm-hmm. fills you up. Oh, so it kind of replaces the... Yeah. The, the stuff that. you're liking. But that's what I did. You went to the LA County Fair. It's back this year. It's back this yeah. year. So I didn't... I've never been. I just always thought it was a white people thing. Like, when you see it on the mm-hmm. on the, on the the commercials, you just only think that rich people could go. Yeah. Like, <laughs> LA County Fair, it's super far. We never had a car. Like, what the fuck is yeah, that? Yeah, it's in Pomona. It's literally in Buffalo, in the middle of... Yeah. Nowhere. Isn't the nice part of Pomona? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, a couple things. Parking was shit. Fucking driving there was shit. It's far... Don't go on a weekend because it's super packed. But the rest of that shit was cool. I did see a big ass bra there though. I saw. Did you see the, the Did you see the thing the, the thing I said on Twitter? It was all yeah, over Twitter. What's going on? What I don't know, but I seen and a I seen a big ass bra. I've been trying to stay away. You know, I'm I'm, I'm trying to be a good kid. You know what I mean? Stay away from Bush. But we just seen a big ass bra happen, and me and the homies were just like, "This look." We watched it, it was right in front of us, but you know, yeah. none of our business. We mind. I mean. I, I, like, fuck, I can understand why certain shit happens. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of shit comes with the certain life you live. Right. But another part of me, it was kind of like, damn, there was kids around. Maybe should have saved it for another time or maybe gave up, gave up the pass. Like, you know what? Give you a pass or shit like that. But, yeah, it was pretty fucked up, bro. Mm. You, you seen the video? Yeah. It was I don't like watching videos like that. Like, I don't even like, like, I didn't like watching the one where the guy at the airport got punched. Well, he deserved like the the dude oh. that was like, oh, the I guy. seen that, yeah. yeah that whole I, interaction all of was that just makes so weird. Me feel, yeah, there were so know, many like, fights going on this yeah. weekend, but 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 yeah, the the bra shit was kind of like crazy. That's but other than that, the LA County Fair has crazy rides. So if you're like a big ride person, mm-hmm. it's that's a dope. Oh, then it threw up. Then it was talking the most shit oh, no. on the little spin one, the one that goes <laughs> super fast. Yeah. So when we're on, I'm scared of rides. I'm a fucking big ass. Yeah, little baby. Like boy. I'm like I'm a pussy. Like I'm doing, you know what I mean? And then the whole time it's going on, it's me, Danner, Jakarta. So Danner's in the middle and he's like being the cool kid. Like, you know, the kids that put the hands yeah, up and like, like, ooh, let me try to put my yeah, leg. Yeah, and then he's like, fucking with me in Jakarta and he ends up throwing up all the Thai food they just ate previously, like an hour before. Uh, like, on you know, the ride like, or off the ride? Because if it was on the ride, it just lands right back on. No, him. no. So we thought it was gonna be like some sand loss shit, yeah. but he ended up holding um, for holding it in, and then he threw up in the restroom. But That's other gross. than that, other than the bra, and then that it was cool. Fucking met a lot of dope brown back fans. I didn't get their names, Aww. but 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 I it would just randomly pass by and be like brown back, Let's and go. just keep walking. That's and then dope. it was cool. And then it's cool when they're like with their girls and they're like. Hey, bro, can my girl take a picture? And the girl's like in the cut like this. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, come on, come on, yeah. come on. Can never be me. I am a self-proclaimed and proud toxica. Sometimes when, well, even when I do like my calendar, like when girls come up to me to take a photo with their dudes, I don't know what girl I would do that with Jorge. Like either mean? buy him her calendar or have him take a photo with her. There's not one girl? Not one girl that would be not like, one. hey, my husband loves you. Fuck. Sa- Salma Hayek? No. No, I love her. But no, but it's like a lot of dudes. It's it's and and this. I, I'm sorry, I'm toxic. Um, like girls will buy my calendar for dudes. Mm-hmm. Like their guy, their as like a birthday present. Yeah, and that means they have a relationship where the guy is like, oh, I have a crush on her or I like her. Yeah, and I just I could never. I'm not saying this, but just it might come out wrong. But just what if they? What if it's like when a girl lets a guy go to the strip club for his birthday? I'm not saying you're a stripper, but. It's kind of like like a like no, you know? I get I get it, but it, it's diff, it's a little bit different. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. So you, so you don't allow George to have any celebrity crushes, is what you're saying, basically. He, I'm his celebrity crush. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a bar. <laughs> <laughs> the good Wait. thing about that is that you guys can literally be like, "Hey, we're both famous." Yeah, yeah. like you know, what I mean? and we're not. Yeah. We're hood famous, if anything. <laughs> we're city famous, if anything. Bro, let the stop the cat, bro. No. <laughs> Cause they're like, who the fuck does she think she is? They're, they don't know. I'm just your homegirl. Fool, no, no, <laughs> <stop>. <laughs> I'm just Duno's entourage. Anyway, moving on. Where do we get here? So talking about fights, mm. the Ryan and Pitbull fight got canceled. Oh. And Letty was not having it, you guys. That makes oh, me yeah. so upset. That shit was like, 
like pause, but that's just like having blue balls. Like, why did you guys sign? We were looking for <laughs> mm-hmm. forward to it, and then all of a sudden the carpet gets yeah. you know taken out from under us. And you know what gets me upset is that Ryan is is the their narrator for this. Granted, Pibble isn't on social like that. He doesn't speak English like that. And so Ryan is trying to take hold of the narrative. Initially, when they even announced the fight, Ryan posted it. And Ryan's like, remember his caption was like, don't do anything weird or don't try to like bitch out or shit like that. Already like setting up. And it's like, he's not, none of us think Pitbull is like that. None of yeah. us think Pitbull is going to bitch out or anything like that. And then they said that the fight was canceled. And then Ryan is like, I'm not trying to tell Pitbull, I'm not trying to tell Cruz what to do, but he needs a reality check. His managers got in the way of something with Manny Pacquiao and now they're bullshitting again. It just felt too, let me try to get in front of this before people come at me and then he like disabled like people to like be able to comment comment to his stuff and even when it comes to like to their fight already you could tell people were leaning towards oh yeah he probably did you know what that might have been that might have been that might have been the reality check that that he's seen like oh shit everybody's against me i don't just have the automatic like latino vote (laughs) everybody's going for the underdog and that's like yeah we fuck with cruz like we were just introduced to him like not that long ago, but we we love his spirit, his heart, and you know the fact that we feel like man, he's like a like an everyday, hardworking person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and just to be honest, like King Ryan comes off like a spoiled brat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm sure he works hard and everything, but that's just the perception. And also, I think he absolutely cares way too much about what people think. And as a fighter, I feel like that's so bad for you. Yeah, you're not supposed to give a fuck because you're supposed you get beat up for a living. You take, you know what I'm saying? You take L's for a living, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that sh- that comes with it. You shouldn't care if people say, oh, you're weak, bro, or, right. yeah, I hope so-and-so beats your ass. Like, that all comes with the territory. Yeah, and then I, I like, like I, I'm, I'm super, like, I fuck with Ryan. I don't have nothing really against him. But, like, if I were to have to choose, you know, Pitbull's my Chilango, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. You feel me? That fool's the camarada, you know what I mean? And and so initially when they posted the the fight, Ryan posted it and he's like, "Let go, people, roof, roof. Time to make this happen. Don't do anything weird. Let's give the fans what they want." And it was just a weird thing to say. Yeah. And then his his comments when the fight got uh, the fight got canceled, especially because they agreed to it already. They were posting it out, and then initially they're like, oh, they're scheduling, or they were already scheduled. It's like, then why even come out in the first place? And so then Ryan said, once it was canceled, uh, the things I say aren't necessarily towards Cruz, but sometimes people need to face reality. His manage- management team, who is part, who was or is part of Manny Pacquiao team, straight cost me a Gervonta fight in the past, but straight lying to me about the Manny fight, and now bullshitting again. And it's like... Uh, This is what's weird to me. Okay. I guess apparently Ryan was going to fight Pacquiao. And that was the, this doesn't make sense. It's a stupid thing to even say. And that was the reason why he didn't do a tank fight, which we are low key. The the thought is like, you're actually running from tank. And instead of fighting Mm -hmm. tank, you're like, no, I'm going to fight Manny. And then the Manny fight didn't go through. But instead of fighting tank again, like since like, since that happened, you fought somebody fought somebody else. So it just felt like a, like, here's how I divert myself from fighting tank. And then make it look like, oh, man, the Manny stuff didn't happen. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But then now it's like, all right, Pitbull wants to fight you. And is and they're down and they're in talks and all of that. And now they're bullshitting again. It, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. It feels weird. You know, sometimes you just feel it. It feels weird. That's it, kind of It feels like it he cares too much about how people will react if he loses. Mm. Or that oh like that. the freaking undefeated title fucks up a lot of people's oh, yeah. fights because you're gonna sacrifice having a good fight for having a an O yeah like no like undefeated yeah. but that like that ruins it like and don't be afraid of losing the O there's honor in taking an L if and there's honor up, in series yeah. like that's why we still love Triple G even though he lost to Canelo quote unquote lost that's why this upcoming fight shout out to Triple G and Canelo they're gonna fight in September let's go uh. That's why people look forward to that, yeah. you know? We look forward to even, like, the the Chavez-Oscar fights. Tri- like, people that had the, one, the two fights. The yeah. are always amazing. What lie. does Undefeated do for that? Bro, shout yeah. out. Shout out this from September all the way to, like, December, January. It's going to be a... 
The World Cup's going on. Canelo and Triple Let's G. Let's fucking Canelo go. Canelo and Triple G. The World the Cup. World Cup and and fucking exciting. the NBA series is going to end the end. Yeah. So end the NBA. Oh, the Warriors are playing tonight. We're recording on Tuesday. The Warriors could sweep. The Warriors stay sweeping, dog. Fool, they're scary. Man. Yeah. The fact that they have that much of a great depth. Yeah. Too, like, fool, Curry's crack, fool. Yeah. They, he swept in 2019. Yeah. And he swept in 2017. These motherfuckers should might as well be janitors. I don't see it. <laughs> I thought Luca was gonna do more. Huh? They're getting popped, but they're losing by like twenty. Damn. The Warriors. Yeah. The Warriors are. Luca had to. Luca had one like. Yeah. Well, he's been scoring like forty every game. I'm a big fan of Luca. I can't wait till he comes to the Lakers. Why? Cause he's European. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! I walked into that one. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, man. Fucking like, look. I ain't gonna lie. If Triple G beats up Canelo, Canelo's career is done. No. no, it's Bro. not. Is Triple G's career done because he lost to Canelo? No, that doesn't exist. Yeah, Bro, but the, fighters the way, lose. But the way that, like, nah, fool. Bro, yes. I'm sorry. Even, my, if, tri- my even uncle, if Canelo Julio loses Cesar to Chavez? Triple G, I'm going to watch another Canelo fight. I'm yeah. going to watch the next one. No, no, fight no I'm, I'm still supported, but like. Bro, Julio Cesar Chavez had like 10 L's, bro. But he fought everybody in the world in that time and did cocaine yeah. at the same time. He's losing weight and all of a sudden he's. Hating. <laughs> 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 oh my yes, God. we're editing that because I don't want to die. That would. It's, like, it's not even Mexican. <laughs> yeah. I'm more Mexican than. Yeah. All right, we're doing too much inside. Too All much right. inside. It really sucks that we're not going to get the Pitbull Ryan fight, at least not right now. I know that it seems like. Uh, Ryan is doing a lot of the talking, and I would like to hear from Pitbull. Um, even if they didn't sign or all of that, even in the update in the post of, like, when Ryan announced the fight on his on his Instagram, he put, he put update, uh, Pitbull didn't want to didn't want to fight me. And it's like, okay, now, but it, that's all fighter talk, you know? We know like, that You have to be so on much. your side. You have to get your narrative There's so in. much behind the scenes that we aren't privy to numbers, um, stipulations, all these things. It's not just that one person doesn't yeah. want to fight. Yeah, update. Isaac Cruz declined to fight. And it's like, you don't know if he declined to fight because you were acting shady or you making it hard or, like, things of or that Or you asked for, like, a crazy split. Yeah, like... Because that, that could be That it. could also... And that could be intentional. Like, make, yeah. let me make it look that way. Yeah, you get so, 10%, I get 90% revenue. Let's do it. It just sucks. Like, we no, were, we were rooting that. for that fight. We really wanted to see, see it happen. Yeah. We are looking forward to Triple G um, taking on um, Canelo for the third time. This is their trilogy. And then also this weekend, Memorial Day weekend... Tank Davis is fighting um, Rolando Romero, and just Tank Ooh. is Tank. Like he's a spectacular. I like watching Tank crack, fight. Bro, I love watching yeah. Tank fight. Mm-hmm. Like, like hmm, I was there the last fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, nah, they weren't With just there. Cruz. They were on TV. Yeah. <laughs> I see like that TV, and I was like, ah, oh, you fucker. Like, on TV. I'm like, just I was like, famous, like, dog. Trap spot. It was so hot in there. We're out of shirts. I was sweaty, <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> Like, is, that, is there some secret brown back deal I don't know about? <laughs> <laughs> if you were there and she was there, I would have quit. <laughs> <laughs> we're all on TV like, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, who's the guy? Who's the, like, English guy? What? Like, Canelo always talks to him. You you should, you would know, Joshi, the the English the guy that, like, sets things up. No, he's, like, the promoter. Oh, so like, like, Max like Keller. Oh, no, Max Kellerman's a reporter. One of those dudes. Like, he's always wearing this. Okay. Is it? That's Damn. that's why you you would be there for that guy. Why? He's, he's European. He's European. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, for some reason I was gonna say Dana White, but Dana White UFC. Yeah, it's definitely like not Dana White. It's a, it's like this dude Eddie that Hearn. is it Eddie Hearn? Oh uh, yeah. 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 Oh okay. Is he a promoter? Yeah. Definitely always at the fights. Is I he just European? always see that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah is he European? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Memorial Day weekend. Right. Memorial so Day weekend. Is, that's coming up. Is we What's didn't ask Vic if he did anything this past weekend. You went to the L.A. County Fair. I went to uh, San Pedro, San Pedro. And then where did you go, Vic? Damn, what did I do? Now that I'm thinking of it. For him Saturday? to think this long? Yeah. No, okay. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Uh, Dave and Buster's. Nice. When Dave and Buster's, my dad and my son and my, and my tia hung out for a little bit. And then I went to um, go to my sister's apartment to hang out with the baby for baby, a little bit. Baby, baby. Oh, yeah. my gosh. And be careful with the baby. There's a lot of, like, sicknesses going around. Yeah, we like, wash our hands yeah. and everything. I didn't even stay for when they're newborns, you don't even, like... I was literally there for, like, 15 minutes, just wanted to say hi and then dipped out. Who does she look like right now? She's good. No, who does she, she look, look like? like? Oh, uh, um, she looks... She's like G? She does. She has a lot of his features already, but 
me remembering how Brie looked when she was a baby. She has Aww. like the same black hair, like super, super dark hair, yeah. which later turned like brown. Um, and then she has the same little like tiny, you know, eyes that's like, I don't want to say the word because people are like yeah, sensitive, yeah. whatever. But you know what I mean. The um, yeah, the shape. Almond shape. Mm. Almond shape. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Kakita Brown? Yeah. Yeah, for Kakita sure. Kakita Brown. Her eyes, yeah. Yeah. Sure. You never seen Blood and Blood Yeah. Um, so yeah, she's so cute though. She's so precious and she's just growing, getting bigger every day. Like, I'm like, oh my god, she's so cute. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, oh, dude. and I babysat. I babysat. I baby was the baby. No, no, no. Oh. I babysat my little nephew, like my cousin's son, because they were like here. They want. They were like, hey, like we want to go to our anniversary dinner. Can you, oh, um, nice. can you watch our son? I was like, yeah. So him and you know, little Vic were like hanging out, watching movies, playing video games. That's I was awesome. like, that was like the first time I was like Uncle Vic and was just like, yeah, you guys play around here, some popcorns, and yeah. I'm just go to my room, like you guys figure it out. Mm -hmm. uh, forget, I'm gonna tell you right now that right now you, you're you're going through this. I'm in love with my niece thing. Yeah, but for, that's only gonna last like two more months. Why? And then you're like, Foo, <laughs> not my kid, because <laughs> I have nieces. You love your nieces though. I too. love them, but I'm not kicking it with them. Like I, I don't want to see you. Like <laughs> you're crying. Here's. Here you go, Adriana. <laughs> Even when Aiden, when Aiden was cool, because well, because yeah. I was locked up when Aiden was born, so I didn't mean Aiden until after. Right. And I met him like the first two days. I'm like, oh my, now posting him on Facebook. I'm fresh out. The girls yeah. are replying. The bitches like, oh, you feel me? Look at me and my nephew. I'm kicking it with the family. But after I was like, fool, you fucking cried too much. Go to your mom, fool. Like, no. Um, but now, like, but do they ask you to like babysit? No, I don't Not know. At all? I like Aiden. Yes. Okay. Cause you know what, what, what like like I I, forget, I think we talked about this before, but with a girl it's a little more difficult. Like yeah, like I'm not her dad, you know I'm her uncle. Yeah. So like, you feel me? There's a lot of shit. Like you know what I mean? Just <laughs> go to the bathroom, you go to the bathroom, and right. shit like that. With Aiden is more. I um I so I lived with my sister. Okay. So with Aiden it was like, I there's so living with my sister. One of the one of the one of the deals was you have to watch Aiden sometimes. Yeah. Go pick him up. Yep. So me and Aiden have a really Different close close bond. Relationship, like yeah. Aiden talks to me. He like tells me what's going on. I'll be like. Aiden, I could scream at him like, "Fool, why the fuck you get kicked out?" Right. Or like, "Why are you doing this?" Or "Don't fucking do that" and shit like that. Yeah. And then with my niece, is a little more difficult. Like, oh, I love, you know, you're a girl, so I like gotta show you more cariño and shit like yeah. that. But when they're both together, it's super cool. You know what I mean? And they be finessing me, fool. My sister be telling them I be making money and shit, so they be just trying to get money out of me. Yeah, you're the rich deal, bro. Like they come and they just my sister's like, oh, oh, okay, we're going to Target. But can you give me money to take them to Target? I'm like, I'm not their parent. <laughs> but here's like, you like know here I mean? you go. Yeah, here's 20 I, bucks. You got split it between or, both. Or I'll do shit like, okay, fold the blanket. And then and then they just start, even though it's like, you're going to give them some type of bread <laughs> so, for Yeah, effort. give them a task Are you at least. the rich uncles and tias? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Jorge is though. Like Jorge is just spoils everybody. The niece and nephews come from that Yeah. Father. Definitely with Jorge. With me, me, I just have like my sister's, my sister's kids. And... The oldest one, Brooklyn, she's like my little mini me. Oh. Me and her are really, really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Her name's Fire, by the way. Yeah, her birthday oh. is tomorrow, the 26th, 25th, 26th. Oh. So this weekend, happy birthday, Brooklyn. I love you, my little baby girl. Um, but also, you're under, what is it called? What is it called when you like underrated? Kind of underrated. You're underrating how much Vic's family actually loves each other. Like, how yeah, supportive yeah, yeah. and They're loving they like, are. Like, he's going to always love <laughs> yeah, me. No, like, these motherfuckers move as a unit. Nah, hell yeah. <laughs> like, he doesn't have a plus one. He has a plus family. A bunch of because a, bu a bunch of them come together. <laughs> <laughs> they all look alike. It's and they all look alike. I just want to put out there that Vic's little sister, not yeah. Brie, but the little oh, yeah. one looks exactly like their mom, and it's yeah. fucking yeah. weird. So you underestimate how supportive and loving That's they are. That's true. Like, I think I told Vic A while we were doing the meeting week because we were trying to take pictures. And no, I told Vic, like, A, uh, and they both tapped him, and then when they when they looked, they both looked at the same time, and they just got like a creepy thing. Like, I was like <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's crazy. Right? Wait, yeah. can you be um, can you be the rich uncle if your sibling is richer than you? Facts, because Brianna <laughs> be popping out here. In the yeah, States. low key, I'm like, uh, I don't got, I don't have a sprinter, like yeah. I don't have a high rise <laughs> apartment, <laughs> like I'm like, so I guess I'm the poor uncle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think like they just assume like. Like, oh, you do video. But then they come and they like, 
they'll see like my shoe set up or like my, oh, yeah. or like for my nephew's a boy so like oh you're that cool so, ass uncle so that like, had all the cool shit so like oh my god you have a pc set up yeah like, oh you're a fucking oh my god like you're a legend can, can i play minecraft on it <laughs> yeah and i'm like fuck no you can't play minecraft like, on it can i stream on your twitch no and then i'll be like <laughs> i'll give them like like when i'm not there and they'll be like hey can we use your laptop for the kids and i come back and my shit's dirty Oh yeah, I'll be I'm pissed. like that's it, that's it, they're done, we're done. I'll close it off. They'll start crying and shit, but I don't give a fuck. Go kids to can't like just keep it. G. Kids can't take care of like nice electronics. Like no. I don't let my son use my laptop. I just don't because I'm just like I, I'm gonna get so mad if right. you do something wrong. I don't want to be that mad at you ever. Yeah, I'd rather you like do something with a laptop I don't care about or another computer. But honestly, I've had to like like I have a whiteboard where I have like my schedule for right. the week and shit. And one time, Calendar. Aiden decided to erase, <laughs> and I missed. I missed something very important. Oh, Zane. and then I called him. I'm like, Aiden, you playing my shit? And he's like, No, are you playing my shit? He's like, Yeah, but, but, no, but. And then, and then he, he tried to say that my mom let him. And then he's like, No, but grandma let me. And then my mom was in the back, like, No, you think you know why that's gonna wipe? Because Aiden, my mom speaks wow. Spanish, Aiden speaks English. And I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm like, All right, bet. I'm like, I'm like, you can't come to the house for a week. Don't come. <laughs> I'm like shut up bye I click oh I can't be like that I'm so sorry nah but see I'm, he I'm loved me to death he didn't do it again yeah he, he never did it again but no. whatever he asked for he gets bro like, yeah motherfucker be finessing we got iPhones this Christmas and shit oh shit bro. damn okay so I want to do another a section called shout outs um, what you called me about? Shout yeah, out like or like the brown bag roll call people that have came up to oh. us that we want to shout out yeah. sorry I can't touch you um what do people really think this is a thing? Yeah. That's so horrible. <laughs> think this is a thing. They think me and Vic is a thing. They think you two are a thing. It's, a, it's all a thing. <laughs> it's definitely Ew. a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Así nos llevamos. Get over it. Okay, look. Uh, and here, if we see you out in the streets, if you shout us out on, on DM or, like, hit us up, we want to show you love. We want to take time because you definitely show us love when we out here in these streets. I was at the Northridge Mall, and I was ordering... Well, I was there because I was in the. I was doing a hit at Curacao. There's a Curacao inside the Norches Mall, by the way. It's wow! Really cool. Shout yeah, out the inside, valley. not the valley. And there's a portals out there. They're really trying to like get oh, wow. the brownification <laughs> to Northridge. <laughs> um, when I, I went to Sabaro to get food before I left back home, and I was ordering, and then there was a girl right there, and she's like, "Are you Letty from Brown Bag?" And I was like, "Yeah." And she's like, "Oh, my name is Allison." She was there with her little sister. Shout out to Allison, and she's a postal worker in Van Nuys. And she said, "When you guys shouted out the mail people, like that was me. Like I listened to you guys on my route." So again, shout out to all the people that listen to us while giving people their mail. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you guys. I appreciate yeah. you. Shout out the ones that don't get them confused with the neighbors and shit. Like you yeah. ever get your neighbor's mail? It's the worst. Yeah. You have to talk to them. Yeah. Sorry. He's a fucking European is <laughs> We need to have like when you're being European, we're just gonna call it out now. Like that's not your brown trait. That's yeah, definitely your, your Euro trait. <laughs> and then also shout out to Art from Pomona, him and his girl. Um, they called into the radio station. They played a game we have called Thousand Dollar Minute. But when he, after he played, he was like shouting out Brown Bag and being from Pomona. So shout oh, out to you. Right. Shout out our Latinos all spread out within yeah. the LA County. Yeah, because we, we went from you met somebody. Oh well, JP's people are from the Valley. And then we met the girl that was from Van Nuys. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then and then and then JP, JP. Pomona. Oh, it's JP Miro. JP Miro. Oh, okay. oh, I forgot I had the yeah. Miro's part. Yeah. And then and then this couple from Pomona. Yeah, we're we're That's everywhere. Do you guys everywhere. when you when you were in the LA? Yeah, yeah. I was I was because you had called. Yeah, I told, I told you about you? it afterwards. Yeah, she was like, dude. I was like, dude. I literally because it was like I'm like it makes sense. That's dope as fuck. Like I would yeah. I would have wished when I met Dom Kelly that Paul Loco he would have shouted me out, but yeah. I mean, it's okay. I met him now, bro. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I wish I would have got the name of the dude at the coffee shop across the street from my crib. I ordered something. He's like, Are you Vic? And I had never been there before. But did he say super nonchalant? Yeah, yeah. He was cool. But he was yeah. a cool guy. It was a, it's a Hollywood coffee shop, so he's cool, too. Yeah. <laughs> and I like, I like, I to and he's, like, he's like, he's like, I watch your podcast. And he's oh, like, he's like, that's awesome. But, like, he said it's so cool. And then and then uh, I ordered something. He's like, I saw me, brother. I was like, ooh. Shout wow. out to you, bro. Shout out to that guy. Yeah. Shout out to all the baristas that listen to us. Facts. Yeah. Shout out, shout out, Steph. She might have stopped, but <laughs> Steph, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Steph at Starbucks. <laughs> all the Stephs at Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's funny because at Chipotle one time I was like ordering, and then you know Chipotle is expensive. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you know it's, 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 it's a little you know what I mean, and then um it was like ten bucks, and I was like. And then he just gave me the bag, and he's like, "Brown bag." 
Oh, and that's just like, he gave but, you a brown but, bag. Uh, but, but it was kind of busy, so I know yeah. he did it super smooth. And then what he did was kind of lag it, so his coworker had to go behind the line yeah. so he could just finish. Doing what he had to do. Pause yeah. with me. Yeah. He had to yeah. finish with me. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> and then he and then he gave, and I was like ten bucks and he's like, brown bag. I would have been like guacamole too. Not you would kidding. though. No, no I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Such a European thing. Yeah, bro. manifest destiny. Just a little bit more. Even a little bit more. <laughs> Expand just a little bit more. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. No. But big up to everybody and anybody yeah. that's celebrating a birthday. If you're graduating, whether it's college or high school or the the promotion from junior high to to high school. Oh yeah. It's that time of the, of the year. Yeah. Summer's really about to start. Yeah. Did so you guys graduate middle school? When? Yeah. Did you guys come in in middle school? Um, you did. Yeah, uh, I did. I did like some you trickery. Did. What'd you do? I did some trickery. So eighth grade was like a really bad year, in, like in my life. Mm -hmm. My parents had divorced, so I didn't really give a fuck about school, and I got like two F's. I never had F's before in my life, but if you had two F's, you had to go to summer school. Mm. So I didn't want to tell my parents that I was going to summer school. They would have been so pissed. And I was going to Chicago during the summer. I already had the flight booked and everything. So I was like, I'm not missing out Chicago. So they were like, okay, you can go to the graduation only if you come to summer school after. Uh -huh. And I was like, okay. They're like, and your parents need a sign that you're going to summer school or you can't walk. And I was like, fuck, this is like a week before graduation. My right. family's all excited, all this shit. I'm like, damn, what am I going to do? I can't tell my mom. I can't tell my dad. Like, they're both going to be pissed at me. So I just like forged their signature, and then I went, graduated, and then you went to Chicago, and then I went to Chicago, and then I just went to high school like nothing happened. And then wow. they were trying to say I didn't graduate, and I'm like, you guys are tripping. I have pictures Look. at graduation. Wow. <laughs> and then they're like, no, but you didn't. And then I'm like, well, I can't go back to eighth grade. Right. Like, what are you guys I'm talking in high about? School already, yeah. I'm in high school, and they were like, yeah, but no, you're not. You were supposed to go here, and I'm just like, oh, I didn't know I was out of town. I had to like emergency yeah. fly, and I got away with it. Wow, finesse the system. I finesse this. I was kind of supposed to flunk eighth grade. I'm not gonna oh, lie. I just want to put it out there that culminating don't mean shit. Yeah. Eighth grade does not mean nothing. Okay. Wait, what are you what Hold are you on. trying to say? Like people need to keep going? Or no, like like you can't flunk eighth grade. There's no maybe in your guys' era they were flunking. In my era, that you know what they did to me? What? Right. They were like halfway to high school, they're trying to deal with you. <laughs> no kid left behind. <laughs> well, it's even like you don't you don't get to walk. You're yeah. still gonna go to high school, but you don't get yeah, a walk. Yeah, you don't get a walk. Which I, I basically got like, yeah. yeah, called their bluff, you know. Yeah. And then wait, I so went. you didn't either? So I got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I talk a lot. I got enough grades. Like my grades were good. Oh, yeah. we had but a bunch my of citizenship, youth. yes, I had you. Citizenship. Or I think it's called. Oh, citizenship. I was like, I was like, oh my god. No. <laughs> I'm documenting you guys. <laughs> okay. I think it's called citizenship. Or oh, the, I know what you mean. The, the little side shit. The side like, what's it called when you... It's like, like the more unsatisfactory, you yeah, satisfactory. Yeah. Oh, and I had, a, I had... I think I had one you more than you could have to walk. Um, and it's because I talked a lot. I talk a lot. Like, I, there's been me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's like, damn, like, look what I do in my life for it. Yeah. But, yeah, I had a U, and so I couldn't walk. Like, I graduated to high school, but I couldn't. I couldn't walk, that's and that so was so sad. Up. Yeah, Super that's fucked, fucked up. up. All your friends graduated, yes. and you're just sitting there for the U's. Like, goddamn, I could have wow. done a speech at this damn graduation. So, yeah. Wow, yeah, like, look at you guys now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck that middle school. <laughs> middle Fuck school. all our middle schools yeah. then. Yeah. yeah. Well, you finessed the game. Shout out to your middle school. What's your middle school? Sussman Middle School. Shout out Sussman. Sussman, all Sussman. Sussman. Yeah. Sus <laughs> Is it Sussman? Doctor Sussman. Oh, so one middle Sussman. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of it like this. <laughs> Sus wasn't even a word back then like that. Uh, and wow. then what was your middle school? I wanted three. But what's the one that you... Shout out Parveer, shout out John Burroughs. Which one's the one you didn't graduate yeah. from? <laughs> all of them, if I would have got to all of them. No, they would have not happened the in either one. The one from 8th to... Yeah, the, um, Sal Castro. South Castro. Sal. Saul Castro? Saul Castro. It's, it's, it's just an S-A-L, but we got the U. Oh, Sal. Sal. Sal Castro. <laughs> Sal Castro. Sal Castro Middle School. Sal Castro. And then I went to Toll Middle School in Glendale. <laughs> <laughs> Let me still mad. Yeah. <laughs> you know why I'm mad? So that year, I don't know if you know what Wango Tango is. So I've yeah, always loved Kiss radio. FM. Yeah, so it's Kiss FM's what? concert. Fuck, is Kiss FM? I'm just kidding. I don't know what kids okay. are doing. Okay. Okay. 102.7. <laughs> I'm just going to have a heart attack right yeah. now. <laughs> so they have a concert every summer called Wango Tango. It's huge. And that year they had like a competition. Like if your school could get a notes, like uh, 
they would count up how many notes um, students did, and whoever got the most notes that middle school was all going to get tickets to Wango Tango. Wow. So my specific class, not even, like, the grade, not even every eighth grader, but the class that I was in, like, my homeroom, was like, let's win this. And we literally spent the last few weeks, like, just making little notes, like, little, like, paper notes. And it, it had to say, like, I want to go to Wango Tango or some shit like that. And we made so many that we got the tickets. But because I didn't walk... I didn't get the ticket. What? To me, that was even worse oh, than like not so walking. Because I'm like, I put in the fucking work. All y'all are there because of me. Forget, forget who performed that Wango Tango in I don't know. 1970. <laughs> <laughs> what year was it? 2000? 2001? Oh, so you probably when missed like born. No Doubt and like. No, I don't know who. I, I don't ja know. I don't remember who it was, but no, I just ja know who it be there. No, Ja Rule's probably around that time. Yeah. But that sucked. That was the worst part of Damn, it. Damn, little did they know. Yeah, so fuck you, tall. Yeah, fuck you, <laughs> tall. And fuck you, kiss. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Just for fun. Wait, isn't that? Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, <laughs> okay. it's not. I can say it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, it was like. Hold on. Radio <laughs> hey, politics. Are you guys going to sue these companies? We sh- you should sue these companies. No, you guys. We should sue it because you're our, ch- you're our child. Look, a cat... And- don't you know I'm local? Let's move on to don't you know I'm local. California parents could soon sue platforms like TikTok and Instagram for kids' social media addiction. Wow. And TikTok can be fined up to $25,000 per violation. I don't know how that would break down if there's like a class action lawsuit, like how much like each person would get. But, yeah, that is up in the air. Is your kid heavy on TikTok or Instagram? No, actually. Instagram or he's TikTok? Old, yeah. He's not on Instagram or TikTok. Um, TikTok is like, I don't know, I guess I, I don't use it too much, but shout out to all our TikTok followers. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's just there's so much information on there, all the algorithms. I wouldn't want him to, like, stumble into something that, I don't know, just has him questioning other things or just, like, girls twerking, whatever is on Let's not beat around right. the bush. TikTok got the baddies in that joint, bro. Yeah, I mean, all the dances. It's like all this Man, stuff. I don't want him to be exposed to yet. Yeah, I don't want him to be exposed to. What is the algorithm? It. So it's yeah. so like let's say like a girl does come up twerking. But even honestly, what you think is a baddie, kids don't necessarily think are baddies. Do you get what I'm saying? I see what you're saying now. I see what you're saying. Yeah. that makes more. But like for them, that probably and, and I'm not a dude. I'm not a little yeah. boy, so I don't know if that interests me too. But what they're saying right here is that they define addiction as anything that physically, mentally, emotionally, developmentally, or materially um, harms them, and they want to reduce how much time they spend on it. But they're too obsessed with it. I feel yeah. like we can all sue them for that. I mean. More so for me, for my son personally, sure, right there I would say, say like YouTube. under the age of 18. Yeah, I know, but um, so like, like, oh, we yeah. all have the same thing, but yeah. maybe it's because I think when you're 18, it's like, hey, it's your choice. Yeah. If you're I was on it. Say, But yeah. I, but, Lil Vic is see, heavy on YouTube. Yeah, but I can see why you say like the TikTok shit, cut it, it has gone to another level where there is like OF girls on there. There is yeah, like, like it's easier to adult personally. Adult filmers on TikTok. Yeah, it's easier then, to monitor like what he sees. Because he has, like, a YouTube kids profile. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He so sees, like, oh. gaming mm-hmm. and stuff like that. It's a lot easier for, like, that algorithm to not go way out. And then YouTube is, like, pretty strict with their guidelines and stuff. Super. So yeah. I feel more comfortable having him, if he's going to use any of those apps, to be on uh, on YouTube. Yeah, same. The they're de- My boys are definitely more on YouTube than anything. And YouTube has the ones that are, like, TikTok anyway. That like The shorts. The, the shorts. Yeah. yeah. So they definitely go through all are that all day. Are you guys going to restrict hip hop music to your kids? No. No, but even again, even the stuff we think is cool, they don't necessarily think is cool. But I'm you saying know when the saying? time comes. No. no, like like even my oldest, he like K-pop. I like hip hop and I was like, "Hey, this, but it's oh, like yeah, that yeah, doesn't yeah, interest yeah, you. They're that. different yeah. generation. They don't care." Okay, okay, I see what you're like, saying. Like we like hip hop. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that they're going to like it cuz to them they're going to want their own genre. Yeah. Whatever that is, you know, mm, it might okay. be lo-fi. It might be whatever is the next, you know. Yeah, I listen to hip hop all the time with Lil Vic in the car, and he doesn't really like it that yeah, much. It doesn't resonate. He wants to hear like Bruno Mars mm-hmm. and movie soundtracks and all this stuff. Like he likes completely different music, but eventually, I feel like he will be like just the same way I was. 
I used to like pop music when I was a kid, and but I would listen to my parents listening to Dr. Dre and Snoop. Yeah. And eventually it just came full circle, and I was like, I want to hear that Snoop mm-hmm. shit too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The throwbacks. Yeah. Okay, this lady, I didn't know she was from out here. She's, she's amazing. She's the, Oh, she's from San Francisco. So the Johnny Depp trial is, like, really big right now. Him and his ex-wife are going through it. He's, like, having a defamation case because she came out with, like, a like an article or, like, a tell-all that didn't say who she was talking about, but it was clear that she was talking about him. And it... According to him, it cost him his role on Pirates of the Caribbean because she talked so much mess about him and people looked at him very differently with the accusations she had. Um, And so he took her to court. And so it's like just this big trial. Everyone's watching. I guess allegedly she pooped on his bed. Um, Like it's getting like really weird. Allegedly. Nasty, nasty. All the allegedly's, you guys, they both were toxic to each other. She was really toxic too. So it's kind of like. uh, She used to beat that for, I think. Yeah, I, I don't I I don't want to touch on it because I'm not in the trial and it's so easy to be outside and having like oh, some opinion. kind of like or read like a tweet about that it. was incorrect yeah. and then we take it as fact yeah. and and so and again I also know the heart the 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 love that we have for Johnny Depp so by default we're gonna believe him a little bit more which is doesn't mean that he's not right but also it plays to our heartstrings Bias. you know what i'm saying yeah. there's a lot of that so i just don't even want to comment on whether either is right or wrong it's just shit that's going down in court but his lawyer is getting a lot a lot of like attention her name is camille vasquez she's from san francisco graduated from usc she's a latina shout out to her um i honestly i gotta tell you all of the stuff that i'm seeing on her is how like she's killing it in the courtroom but also like she's a bad she's a brown bag she's a little brown bag baddie (laughs) and even like the people are like are they dating because they're like hugging each other they're low-key doing low-key they're doing what we do Okay, they're I, cracking I, each other's knuckles. Cracking each other's knuckles. No, like, I just, they're I like, like, I just want to put it out there that I know exactly what. Giving each other's talking. props, all yeah. of that. Like, but so I know what Clippy's talking about. Hugging each other, so all of me. that. No, Maybe you're good. she's just okay, really like Captain yeah. Jack Sparrow, parts of the Caribbean. But according to both of them, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's yeah. actually first nothing. of all, she works for him, so one we can't just automatically put it out there that they're dating just because Johnny Depp is Johnny Depp. You feel me? Yeah. This yeah. fool kissed um, Jimmy Fallon in the I think like when he walked up. When, when he brought him out, he kissed him in the, in the mouth. Oh, okay. He's, like, such a great, like, you know, like... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. He's, but I um I don't know what's it called. The good thing is that... um Where, like, the... the I think she's questioning something. The What's the, what's the wife's name? Oh, yeah. So... Amber Heard. Amber Heard. Yeah, her testifying, and she's is, objecting. Yeah, no, but she's yeah. objecting to everything. Like, is yeah. It, is it an objection? It's, it's yeah. like every question is, like... Yeah. She makes it really hard for them to <laughs> even try to get the narrative any which way. She's going to make you work like, for that shit. And it's funny because she can't even get a fucking sentence out. And she's like, yeah. objection, objection, your honor. I want to upset session, whatever the fuck. Yeah. They're talking <laughs> some big ass words. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck it means. Mm-hmm. But you could tell, like, imagine that's like you trying to move forward. Somebody's like, stop, stop, just stop. Right. Don't, don't. Mm. Yeah. It's kind of like being at the DMV. Yeah, I saw that, that <laughs> clip. I saw that clip where she like went in on her and it was like i'm not gonna lie it was kind of triggering it's like arguing with latinas impossible you know what i'm saying it's like <laughs> because trauma I, all, I knew where La- this is going. all latinas should be defense attorney shout out esther i concur um <laughs> esther, do you, you got- need any what is it when you're under the the lawyer she's a what a paralegal she's a what plaintiff lawyer a plaintiff lawyer. Oh, okay, okay. So she- yeah what and does that plaint- mean? I, I, the I plaintiff need- is yeah. the fool that's suing. Oh, okay. Plaintiffs too, because they like you get a, you know they be yeah. accusing your shit too oh sometimes. My gosh. But then um, also, <laughs> hold on. If you need any paralegals, oh, okay. Esther Law Firm. Yeah. Hire me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it for just for funsies. Yeah, nah, but bro, yeah, the way she argues is like, bro, shut up, let him talk. But it's like I get it. You know, you're doing your job, but she does a great job. Yeah. But uh, but uh, this and the end, and you guys, the clip is like about three minutes long, and I'm pretty sure they cut that even. Short, mm-hmm. but the whole time this lady, the other lady's trying to talk, and it's it looks fucked up because she's like, you can tell she's not even writing anything. She just like doodling on her pen, and she's like, "Your Honor, I object." Yeah. Your Honor, and I'm like, "Bro, you're fucking annoying. You're irritating." But you love them, you know. Yeah. Wait, you're talking to. It's okay. really a Latina thing. It, yes, it's a Latina thing. 
<laughs> and she's a brown bag baddie. She's a brown bag baddie. Shout out to her. Uh, I'm sure we'll hear from her more. And even when before she did this, she was already getting like a claim for like lawyers to watch type of thing. So I don't want even people to be like, oh, this is the trial that made her. You know, like, see, in 2021, she was named um, of Best Lawyer Magazine's one to watch, one of them. So like, shout out to her. Yeah, and you don't get the shit. job of you know. Yeah, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp's uh, attorney, if you're for not no already. For no reason. You know what I'm saying? Doing your thing. All right. It's brown pride time. Yeah. Let's bring in the one and only. I love. My dog. First of all, I love that everyone is like, we talk about him all the time. We shout out our primo all the time. And it's so funny that people actually thought that this was my husband. Yeah. Someone was like, is ugly primo really Jorge Peniche? And they added me. Oh, yeah. And I was like, no, bro. Because, because he does graphics and way more than that. It's because Creative Ugly mind. Primo, the character itself, right. is anonymous right. to an extent. You know wow. what I'm saying? Are we like, are we revealing Batman right now? We are revealing Batman. Are we? Oh, we, we are, are we all are pulling sick. The, are we're we are pulling sick? the mask we are? This is Little awesome. Mr. E <laughs> yeah. off of El Chacal. Yeah. All of that. Little Mr. This is, e. <laughs> give it up. This is Ugly Primo reveal right For here. For the real oh, yes, Ugly right Primo. Right Let's go. Oh, Adrian, 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 Adrian. Okay, Adrian. this is the Ugly Primo we know and love. But Loki, this is going to be like Barney. Have you guys ever seen the Barney show where first it's the little stuff Barney? Oh, yeah. And then the magic it happens and the, it turns into the real Big one? Barney? <laughs> okay. Introducing the creator of Ugly Primo, Adrian. Adrian! So Adrian comes to us, like always been a, a friend. I think even before we started the podcast, we I think we all knew you individually. Yeah. I yeah. met you back at a Tropical. Which Tropicalia was it? It had to be. I think that was 2018. Yeah. Dang. Oh, wow. That's how ago. I met him. Yeah. How'd you guys meet? Um, I met him at Baja Beach Fest. Wow. I think also yeah, 2018. Yeah, it was 2018. 2018. Wow. Baja did, Beach Fest. How did you meet Adrian? Did we meet just through the gram? I think we just met through the gram. Yeah, Dang. we met through the gram and then, uh, and yeah, through the gram. And then we I think did. I just and then we we met through Chris oh. through Chris, Chris. Chris New Cali. Yeah, oh, Chris yeah. New Cali. Yeah. 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 And then oh Chris Chris had DM me. Chris New Cali, and then Primo was like, "Oh, we want to connect you guys." And then we put, and then I pulled up, and we just met, and we talked. Yeah. And then we like clicked right, right there and there. Yeah, and yeah. you're just so Adrian. We talk about you all the time as Ugly Primo because you always show love. You reach out to us. You want to see us in these spaces, and then you create for people like us. Like I don't know other people that do the types of memes that you've done. You know, like, and that yeah. I know that comes from you thinking like. I have to make this to like, I don't know. I don't know if it's necessarily intentional to like get our shit out there, but in doing your work, you get our shit out there. Like you provide the voice for our perspective. So shout out to you for the that. The memes that come with it. Yeah, the memes. Speak to us, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's it's just all this like You flipping fabuloso or art. flipping like um Walter or flipping yeah. like Juan Gabriel, all of that. Like that means that's us. That's it's our much shit. Much needed. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and it was dope. I think the the shit that always like yeah, obviously the Latino shit in the Mexican, but the LA shit is like he'll have pre ugly primo laying down in his bed. Oh yeah, when the, the fireworks. Lakers won and then just the fires in the background. Yeah, or even like when <laughs> or, or even when like so Mexico LA. plays, I'm like, yeah, that shit is fucking crazy. That's amazing. <laughs> we look forward to those memes when something significantly like ha something significant happens in the Latino community. You yeah, know what I'm I know we're like, oh. I was like, the primo drop today, and then Facts. randomly some shit would just come up, and I'll text him like. That was a good one. He's like, you like that one? Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but because, you know, it's like it's like a real friendship. You know right. what I mean? So I'll call him. He'll call me about shit. I'll call him about shit. Because we worked on dope shit before. Yeah. I did some shit with Puma with him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fire. That was great. The taco. The taco. Yeah. Shout out Jay Valentino. Yeah. Jay Valentino was part of that as well. And we'll Jay get Valentino into. Not, yeah. Bad. He's the homie. Yeah. We yeah, will yeah. get into that. But I do want to just get your backstory. Like, how did you even start? I'm sure that this was like jokes between you and your friends before yeah. it became a joke with you and social media. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, how did I start? So yeah, like, even, kind of like, long, the... It's a long story. Give it, kind of, we're a podcast, the, bro. The whole thing? Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> so let's see. Let's go, primo. To, uh, let's go back to... It started the way I, like, I got into, like, what I'm doing now. Is, like, mm -hmm. in high school, I was DJing. Um, wow, you DJ, too? Yeah. Yeah, he been, DJs to this day. To this day. DJing for, He's since a I was 13. So yeah, what? so Quintanilla so DJ. I, yeah, I started when I was thirteen, I, just doing like family parties and stuff. But once I turned um, fourteen, I got like my first like legit 
DJ system. Wow. And then I started doing um, quinceañeras. I really was doing quinceañeras. <laughs> wow. At my wife's, uh, my wife's uh, family, they own a, a salon in Corona. And what? so I was DJing every hey, single week. I need a weekend. wedding venue, Esther. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I was I, every weekend. I was DJing um, quinceañeras for like Brad for like I would, I, my DJ shifts were like fourteen hours long. I would Yay. show up at like I would show up at like eleven a.m. and I wouldn't be done till like three a.m. Oh like it was, shit! It was crazy. Did you do it to um, get the girl, or that just no, became we were, a result? We were already, already? We were already dating. Yeah. So they've been together so, since middle school or high school? Since uh, high school, yeah. Wow, well, que vive el amor. Yeah. 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 Let's go. That's yeah. Like all our grandparents at fourteen, then, they ran away. <laughs> so so yeah. So once I turned fifteen, I started getting like a little bit more serious into it. Like I started doing a lot of uh, house parties um i joined a party crew because one of my homies Sick. was like he was like telling me like about like this new thing he was trying to do with like you know obviously everyone knew like what party crews were at the time yeah. this was back in like 2000 and 2008 2007 yeah. oh yeah yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. i don't know about this life what, what, was, and, uh, what was the name of the party crew it was yeah. called a uh, fat entertainment fan fat 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 ph fat Fat entertainment? P-H-A-T. Yeah, that's hard. Wait, what city? What city? Shout what out to city? Big Mac. That was in Riverside. Riverside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, you're product of the IE, just like Jenny69. Yep. Damn. Yep. <laughs> so <in> Riverside. <laughs> now, uh, so <in> Riverside. <laughs> um, yeah, so then I, I joined, you know, like this party crew, and then I started doing um, like all these, all these house parties and stuff like that. And then um, DJing was my main thing. And then I ended up, just starting to make flyers for like our own, you know, our, oh, our own the parties. parties. And stuff. Yeah, I wasn't that good to be honest. Like, at, you know, at graphics. So, yeah, I wasn't good at graphics. Like, I literally just learned just off YouTube, and then uh, I was, I was like working with like my homie Virus, and like he was also like on Photoshop and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then we would work with other designers. Like, I wasn't really that good, but I was working with other designers and like making my own flyers and stuff for certain parties. But I was doing parties probably like every single weekend for like. <sighs> All of high school. Wow. Dang. And then, so if you grew up around La Sierra in that time era, you probably went to one of my parties. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. In your flyers, so, did you have like Nas tanks and, and the balloons? BYOB. Yeah, it's <laughs> funny because I Respect did. The path. I went to a lot of parties. <laughs> the path. Yeah. I went to a lot of parties like that and DJed them, but I didn't ever put that on. Like, oh, on the flyer. Yeah, yeah. Got you. You were just and put then, there. He didn't know you guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, and then um, high school was over, and then I went to college, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to, like, be, I'm going to be, like, a good kid. You know what I mean? Like, wow. I, I was, it's funny, because I was already the good kid but you within the, like, kind of, like, kinda like, the, like kids? the wild yeah. kids. Yeah. 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 So I was, like, I was a really good kid, quiet kid. You're um, the one who talked to the cops when they came. You know, I was like, you know what, I'm going to not DJ. But then for, like first semester of school, I met this really annoying dude, uh, which you guys have to know, Dom, <laughs> <laughs> which he is now my, he's, he's my best, he, he's my best friend. But he's, now, from yeah. San, he's from San Francisco, so he can't. No, this isn't. Yeah. So in in freshman, yeah, freshman yeah. year of college, we met. And then, it's funny because he, he, we met in like this, like, I think it was a uh, biology or chemistry or something like that. And then, uh, I, like, we just like, you know, we hit it off. And then he was wow. like, yo, he was like, he, uh, I told him, he like asked, like, you know, we started talking and he asked me, uh, like what I did. And I told him like, oh yeah, like I, I DJ and stuff. Cause he was actually promoting clubs At that and time. like doing party buses. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, like I get dragged into like <laughs> all this stuff <laughs> that he's doing. And, uh, and then so I started, we, I started DJing, like I started DJing, like I was like, oh shit. Like Pick back I, had, like, I had yeah, like yeah. one semester off and then I, I got back into it. And this is at Cal State Fullerton. So it's not really like a yeah. crazy, like, yeah. it's like a crazy party school. No, it's not like some crazy party school. So we were just like, real quick, you know, even before like, you go on, like what, even with Dom, like we know him. So we're laughing because like the next time you see a festival and you see Golden Voice there, that's Dom. The next time you see Need Pastel in the graphics, that's Ugly Pimo. Yeah. Or, but so I just really want you guys to get the reference of like who these people are and that it, start, it started in Cal State Fullerton. I know a lot of us are, are hanging out with our friends talking about like plans or like, hey, let's do this together. It can definitely start there. Don't think that oh, yeah. that's not the beginning blocks because yeah, that's, that's where something 
something like this Dom, happens, you know? For, if you've ever been to a show at the Novo, Dom probably booked it. Yeah. You know, to this day. So it's oh, like. That's amazing. Yeah. But yeah, you guys yeah. started. He's one of the doing, best bookers in the game. Yeah, right and yeah. annoying again, yeah. apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're annoying Dom. I was expecting, like, like just off people we know, I was expecting, like, Chris, but he's like. Dom. Dom. <laughs> and I was like, no, it's funny because back in the day, like Dom persistent. was like really hyper. Like in class, he was like, he's like very mellow now. Oh, he's yeah. so he's mellow so now. So chilled out now. Yeah. But yeah. like back in the day, like he would be the guy like you know talking in class or like <laughs> just like saying like funny shit. Like yeah. I don't know, just like trying to get people to go shit. to his parties. <laughs> yeah, and he was a he was a promoter. We ended up becoming like really cool friends, awesome. and then um, at the time, like yeah, we started doing like. Ratchet Eyes Nightclubs <laughs> in uh, Pomona. Uh, we did uh, Carnival. Oh, Carnival. Bro, yeah. Freaking bro, P-Town. When I, bro, when I told yeah. them that I hosted Carnival, they're like, we used to do that shit back in the like, day. They were like, you don't know they're like, yeah, like it's okay, have your fun. Yeah. Been there, done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, shout out to Carnival. And then this was probably like 2011. Yeah. And then um, I started doing our flyers. Again, mm -hmm. so yeah. like it kind of like it's funny because I never yeah. really, I never really thought I was gonna become a designer. Like you're not pursuing it; it just exactly. keeps finding you. Yeah. And then like I started doing our uh, like a lot of our flyers and stuff like that, and then like the parties were fucking, they were popping. Like we were going kind of crazy for you know what it was at the time, and then um, after that we ended up going to um, the Fox Theater. Like, so we moved up and then I was making flyers for all of our shows there. Yeah. And then we kind of got to a point where we were kind of like getting over it. And like, yeah. I'm a big music fan. So like, I, I was always going, like, I started going, like, I was going to like the Glass House shows and like, wow. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, yeah. like just super on the music, like really early on. Um, so then, um, so then we started doing like legit shows and like, kind of like on our own, mm -hmm. like we don't like Booking just like artists, our own money and stuff yeah. like that. And then, uh. Funny like we it. did like we got to do like anderson pock like oh wow like really early mm -hmm. on uh yeah. i don't know if you guys ever heard like odeza yeah mm -hmm. um like i made the flyers for some of those shows and like this was just like i'm talking like 200 person capacity venues mm -hmm. um and then from there like like you know we were like in love like with these like live shows and stuff like that because you it's super different from like the ratchet club yeah you know yeah. What I mean? like, yeah like it was just like totally different and then um and then from there we ended up or well, dom actually ended up getting a job at this company called uh golden voice which like they're like one of the biggest concert promoters they do like coachella they and do coachella like yeah. um and then i was like yo man i gotta get in like you know like what i'll do pretty much i'll do any like whatever job right, it's funny i need? wanted to be in marketing and then um they're like oh well there's like a part-time graphic design Hilarious. position <laughs> god keeps telling and you like, there was hey, like you're there doing was like this. yeah there was like some uh there was also like this like coachella internship thing and then i didn't get the the coachella thing because i was like damn that'd be safe to get to work on coachella yeah. and then i ended up it's funny i was competing with my best friend to get the job for the 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 graphic the graphic design uh oh. position and I ended up getting it. So then, mind you, I'm like, I make fly, like, I was making flyers, mm -hmm. but I wasn't like, you know, some, like a crazy pro. Yeah. I was just able to get it done. And then um, I get the job and I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, I, I gotta, like, I gotta, like, step, step my shit up. Yeah. 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 This is big leagues now. And then, you guys, real quick, this, him laughing about this is gonna make sense when this, when he tells yeah. you all the yeah. shit he's worked on, because then you're gonna be like, what, what the fuck? Mind blown. <laughs> yeah. So, mind then, mind the so then, so then, um, like, as soon as I find out I got the job, I'm working, like, I come home from, like, school, because I was still in college. Um, I, I come home from school and, like, work and shit, and I'm, like, designing, like, on YouTube, like, another, like, eight hours a day, oh, just, shit. like, trying to, like, like level up my stuff. Mm -hmm. But I've always been in art, so it was just kind of, like, some of it was just, like, natural, you know? Yeah. But I, ne I never went to school for, like, design or anything like that. So then I was still, like, a part-time uh, dude. I moved out to, to L.A., from uh, Fullerton and then we ended up I ended up like getting a job full time and I was like I graduated school and I was super hyped and then from there I was still doing a lot of stuff on the side so like I, I was getting pretty pretty decent I don't like to say like you know like yeah. I was like a superstar or whatever mm -hmm. but then I started working with a lot of cool artists as well like just like rappers and stuff like that yeah and designing like flyers for them and like just doing my own thing on the side while I'm still designing at this company and then um I started my own company at uh, basically like a like a design company, 
and then that was when I started like I got tired of working on everyone else's stuff and like I would see like damn like some of this shit is like not that good yeah. you know what I mean like yeah. and then but I like I wanted to start my own outlet cuz I mind you I was working there for probably like two and a half three years mm-hmm. when by the time I started uh but even more like in 2017 i was like yo i gotta do something like different like yeah just i'm kind of like your own brand i want to start my own yeah. like like your company. aesthetic because like, even just if want, you work yeah. at a company like there's their vision they have so you're working under what they want yeah versus what you really see for yourself yeah. and i wanted to create an outlet mm-hmm. like i wasn't trying to start a business i just wanted to create my own like outlet slash platform mm. there wasn't a lot of people that were really putting on um you know like latino artists and mm-hmm. stuff yeah. like that um and I, I was just like like you know how can i like work with like you know the people that i like see myself relating to right and um and i really wanted it's funny because i really wanted to work with bad bunny and i really wanted to what work what year with, was that that you even this knew was this him? was 2017 damn Mine, early like, adapter. yeah i've always been like yeah. super early like i know because you like yeah. Yeah. anderson pack before because even was, like bad yeah. bunny in 2017 that's like essentially when he barely popped was yeah. that when he had the when eye in like, his forehead the surface. this is before, no, that. That was yeah. before yeah. that oh yeah. shit. yeah and then uh like i knew i wanted to work with him and like just other cool like at the time like like Latino music was changing so yeah. much. Yeah. Like it was just becoming like just, just like I don't Mainstream know, just like again, just almost. dope. Yeah. It, this was like yeah, like super early. And then um, I was like, damn. Well, how can I like you know work with these people? Like I don't, I didn't have like it's, it's crazy. I didn't have any like crazy like connections yeah. into the music industry or anything. Like it was just like kind of just all from reaching out, just reaching out, Instagram and DMs like and shit and stuff yeah. like that. So I started Primo, and then I I just like. I really wanted to do something for like the culture and uh yeah, like I said, there wasn't really anyone doing that at the time for our community. So I was like, Well shit, how can I do it? Like funny, like Latinos yeah. are hella funny, like it just you know, oh, it yeah. just made sense. Like and everything in like design is so like always about being so cool, you dress like this, like so serious and I was like, Fuck that, like I just wanna like make do, it funny. just make yeah. it fun. Yeah. And then um so then yeah, so I came up with Ugly Primo. And then I I got to work with Google really early. Wow. And then, uh, Shout out Google. And then I, I yep. ended up getting Bad Bunny's attention on like my, it was my fourth post on Ugly Primo. And like literally, wow. it, it, like he he saw it because it got picked up by like uh, Rapeton. Shout out to Rapeton. Uh, they're like, they're kind of like a media outlet. They're yeah. a media mm-hmm. outlet and like pretty much all like, uh, like reggaeton. Latin trap. Yeah. 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 And trap. And, um, they posted it and then i don't I, I don't know if it was directly from them but like uh, like a lot of different Afterwards, like, out, you saw like more outlets people. started mm-hmm. like picking it up and stuff in that community and then bad bunny commented on my photo and oh, liked it shit. and i was like oh fuck like that's crazy but i have arrived question, yeah. which graphic is this is this the one where he's literally a bunny yeah a bunny he's, he's 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 in a bunny suit yeah. on top of uh the energizer yes so okay i remember that yeah, it says well, can we insert like, that? Yeah, um, in the, in the after, yeah, right in the That's video. Right yeah, um, um, I definitely remember seeing that like in real time and thinking like that's cool as fuck. Yeah, and then it like and so, this is like yeah. 2018. This is uh probably March of 2018. Okay. okay, yeah. So at the time, like it wasn't so like 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 what's it called just common to see you know like yeah, yeah these flips or like these, these things. Yeah. yeah especially for like the latino like mm-hmm. artists and stuff yeah like, that. like it wasn't exactly it was, like there nobody was really showing them love memes. Like yeah. there wasn't memes especially like a subculture especially it, yeah. for like you know like i'm like i grew up here in like socal mm-hmm. so it's very like i don't know it's kind of different than like you know like i mean yeah we're not like out there like you know like in, that, yeah. 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 in puerto rico or yeah. like yeah. mexico yeah. and stuff like that so um so I was just like, wow, how can I create something where I could work with like these people and like these like Chicano artists like Google and stuff like yeah. that. And then like it just kind of like worked out. And then his his team hits me up like probably like a week and a half later. And then they're just like, yo, like uh, bad wants to work with you. Like, you know, like what could we do? And then they're like, oh, he wants like the shirt of, that he wants the, the design uh, that you made on a shirt. And then nice. I was just like like i thought it was fake like i was yeah. just like <laughs> mind you like back when he was not as he was nowhere near as big as he right. is like you know what i mean like but he was still like someone still i really really Hell wanted to yeah. work with because yeah. i knew he was gonna like you know mm-hmm. go crazy and then um, all the vision. 
Thanks. I saw the vision and then I was just like, yo, like whatever you guys need, like I'll pretty much do like anything wow. it takes. Like, like, you know, like work with you guys. And then I did. Um, so then like they kind of disappeared and now, like, I'm just some random dude on Instagram. Right. You know what I mean? like, yeah. like they don't know, like, you know the things i'd done and then um and at that time i yeah. since it's 2018 you were doing the artwork for tropicalia fest you were doing yeah the, it, it's you, crazy it happened like all at the same yeah, time yeah like you were yeah. already doing artwork stuff so yeah. kind of you were busy too yeah and then uh and then like i ended up making some designs for them and then like they never really like came back and then like some merch designs because mm -hmm. he was yeah. about to like do his first shows and then um all of a sudden they come back to like yo like we want to use these i was like oh right. shit and then like it's already getting real and then um like all the festival stuff was happening at the same time and it was just like it was a lot of things going lot, on I'm mind sure. you i had i still had like my full-time job and then um like i was just trying to like balance it all like mm -hmm. i was like going crazy on like the ugly primo instagram and like making content like mm -hmm. crazy and it was just like it was, it was yeah, like, I didn't sleep. Yeah, because content creatorship be, is a job in its own. Oh, you sleep. still don't sleep. I still don't <laughs> sleep. And, um. Literally. Yeah. Damn. And then, um, so yeah, so then I, I got my first break, though, of doing, like, a full music festival. Um, like, you know, doing the creative direction for it, all the art, key nice. art, like, merch and all that stuff. And then, mind you, like, that team I was working with, like, they were super hyped, too. And then, like. People kind of started noticing me, I guess, like at the company I was at. Cause like mind you, I started, I came in as like the lowest like level you could like, be. Yeah. You could yeah. be. Yeah. Like I was I was localizing like like tour posters, like literally yeah. just changing the dates. And like, oh, you know wow. what I mean? Like yeah. so that's what like really like like you know, like propelled and inspired me yeah. to like like yo, like I could do my own like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like do my own thing. It's like starting then, in the mail room at a company. It, and it literally kind of like, was, mm -hmm. but like the mail room for designers. Right. Yeah. Like literally just, Dang, bro, yeah. Legit. Yeah. <laughs> and then um and then um so but it was but like I don't regret like any second mm -hmm. of it. Like it all taught like it taught me everything that like I needed to know and like I mean, yeah, like, there's no too, job, like, too small, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, and it all starts and there. It all starts there. And, like, that was how I really, like, I guess learned. And, like, I started getting pretty decent at design. And then, like, I started doing, like, animation stuff. And then, like, like I just kind of, like, learned on my own, just YouTube, University of YouTube. That yeah. I learned more from YouTube than I did in college, honestly. Wow. <laughs> and I then, <laughs> but, yeah, so then I did, like, Google's EP cover uh, at the time with Primo and then I was just kind of like doing all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. and then eventually I got to a point where I was doing um, like creative directing a bunch of like other festivals and stuff like that and what, then, like, people were kind of like trusting me so the people uh, like I mean Tropicalia I did yeah, like I the years after mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. um, now I do like Besame Mucho yeah. I did Let's like the, I did like the, the all the shit you want to go to. I'm like, telling yeah. you, like literally all like, the shit you want. I did a go day to. in Vegas, the yep. first first yeah. one. Um, Even how you yeah. did the artwork for Once Upon a Time in LA, you made that feel so LA. Like yeah, you tap upon, in yeah. to the actual like feeling and energy of what you people you want people to feel in those festivals, and you make it artwork. So even while we're wa we see artwork every day, all day, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I think one people that can reference is like the Coachella artwork, and you know it's gonna be the big name and mm -hmm. then like the little names and then all three days but you did something different where it's it's not about the big names and the little names it's about the whole artwork as like in general like oh, you yeah. want to be like in awe of everything of every corner of the color yeah. scape the letters you're using like and i know you said like to you it's just some shit that you started with off youtube or whatever but the attention to detail that you've done and maybe it is because this isn't something you pursued maybe it yeah. is because like look other motherfuckers went to school for this i didn't so i gotta like really step my shit up like you said that's what makes it so different like i'm in, i love anytime you come with out with artwork on the artwork itself even regardless of the lineup. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of attention to detail. Even like when you go to these festivals, like, mm -hmm. for example, Once Upon a Time in LA, when as you're exiting, it said, uh, today was a good day. Yeah. You Those know what I'm saying? Details. Little stuff yeah. like that. That's Tropicalia like. Tropicalia Fest, you had uh, the little, the setup of like a storefront and you were like, you could take a photo pushing a cart and Ugly Primo was on it, but yeah. they had like Fabuloso, like pictures or the Juanga, all of that stuff. That makes it an experience. Like your photo yeah. ops are not just a colorful wall with the hashtag. 
Yeah. You know, yeah. like you Which make is it the something. Fucking words, by the way. Yeah, like step, <laughs> yeah. step your shit up. Like that's easy work. You yeah. know. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I just try to like really always curate the vibe, mm -hmm. and that was. It's honestly, it's crazy because I feel like it really comes from DJing, because like mm -hmm. for me yeah. at least, like music, like I'm very connected, like. You know, obviously, Tropicalia is like very special. Like that was special to me, but like uh, Besame Mucho is mm -hmm. like that's yeah. like the new one I'm working on. Yeah, yeah. can't wait for um, that. And like, you know, like I grew up with like all these all these uh, like musical artists and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. it really, it kind of just like like it's easier for me to paint a picture for you. I guess because yeah. you, you actually know Thanks. you're yeah. not just getting thrown something and saying yeah. Hey, uh, put Be this creative together. For this. Yeah. yeah. Even uh, you did the artwork for that that um, I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna just call it the emo. Kind oh, of when concert. we were young fest. Yeah, when I we did. were young fest. I did. I did. Bro, when we were young that shit yeah. went so viral, bro. When we made that shit, I see him and he like. was like, "You ever into this shit?" I'm like, "My sister did it." We just laughed about it because I'm like, "Bro, some emo shit right here." Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that shit went I so viral. We, yeah, that was probably, that, uh, that might be one of my most viral like. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So it was it. all Done. bumper stickers. We could probably insert it here as well. Like literally, like. Adobe was posting memes about it. It's funny. Yeah. It was like, it was like bad, yeah. yeah. Like the TSA was posting yeah. about it. Yeah. And shit like that. Um, Damn, that's fire. People, yeah. People don't know. Like, yeah. But like, I, you know, have my hand, like, you know, got to like put my spin on that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think it comes from being so like kind of open minded. To it. Open like minded. A music and lover. like, I grew up, yeah, I'm a music lover. Like, I grew up around. All this stuff like southern california is a very special place like mm -hmm. i got i got to come to like la when i was a kid like i grew up partially in, partially in la um mostly like riverside and like santa Ana. so like damn, i was kind of like the just yeah. and i was the oc i was just kind of like damn it, and LA. the, the LA stories yeah it's crazy cause, <laughs> yeah like i was i was just like <laughs> in between all three because i had family in all yeah. three yeah and then like i moved to riverside when i was young like you know single mom type Man. stuff and it was like cheaper back in the day yeah and then but like i got a company my my stepdad's family was from out here so like i got to really like just kind of get be a feel for and, yeah, you're everywhere. really all over yeah. yeah i was really all over like that shout out to you and dude. um i feel like that and then dj like i said djing like all these different parties like i dj'd for like i don't know old white people <laughs> like like so I, big like, family wow <laughs> <laughs> it's funny i actually, you said it, not I actually us. dj'd and i got a dj like one of the dude from journey's like granddaughter's parties oh shit but no it's like it's just, really, it's just really like curating a vibe like that's kind of like it's like visually curating a vibe mm -hmm. yeah. like with design and i feel wow. like like that kind of like was something that, that i got pretty bar pretty uh pretty okay like pretty decent at. nah yeah. bro you're um, one of the goats you are a goat and, like, and the and the thing is like your full potential hasn't been tapped in yet your prime hasn't even been reached oh yet. yeah we're seeing you like on the incline i think it's called incline yeah like you're literally shooting and we're oh, just yeah. happy to see it so and, yeah so let's bring them up to speed with like okay where we're at in 2022 yeah yeah where we're at in 22 so 2022 so yeah we just i mean i, I dated the creative direction for lovers and friends festival Amazing. yes sir um the, f the the festival that yeah nobody thought would everyone ever thought happen. was everyone <laughs> right. thought was fake it that's was how joke. good it was yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and then uh Ooh, also, Sarah was like i was there being freaky <laughs> yeah and then uh <laughs> she was behind like <laughs> yes. and then like i said uh when we were young uh best i'm mucho and then i you know, helped on uh once upon a time in LA. Besame and Mucho then, is the one that's coming in December to Dodger yeah, Stadium. Dodger Stadium yeah. Yeah. And we're fucking going. Oh, yeah. And we want to get dressed. Up. No, it's we're going to dress dope. like Tucanes or something. Yeah. We got to yeah, figure yeah, out. We gotta we're going to be little bandas. Banda men. I look at him. I have to go as a rocker because I have the rocker uh, stage. Okay. Come on. Let's I, I'm, stop interrupting. Yeah. You still. <laughs> I, I interrupted, but you still. And then, uh, I mean, my favorite project that I just uh, helped on was. Primo, before you say it, let's do a drum roll. Watch it, Skuko. No. Uh, Say it, primo. Say it, put it that way. Uh, the album cover for Bad Bunny. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. Un verano Whoa. sin ti. Un verano sin ti. And Loki, we were just so proud, just even just knowing about just it, like knowing it. you, just like this is fire, because this is even like when you win, we all win, and you're LA, you're LA O C I E, and you're Latino, you know, you're you're out here and you're working with the biggest artist. I'm not even gonna say one of or no, in it's Latin biggest. trap. It's, it's the biggest it's artist, artist in the world. Billboard topping, like yeah. your artwork is at the top of Billboard, bro. 
And it's so awesome that he can trust you with that. And we trust you with that. We know you're always going to get that shit right. And it's just so cool to see it. To and see you see that little heart guy and know that that's you. And he really fucks with him. If yeah. you've seen uh, Bad Bunny's recent interview, he called him un chamaco bien duro de Los Angeles. That shit was wow. crazy. Was that's going to be my new uh, bio yeah, on IG. Oh, God. <laughs> that explains you perfectly. Yeah. That, that was, was a little different after shit. that. And then, Excuse and then, me. And then you guys, I just want to put out there that it's like, you guys are like, Cause Primo really big brother, like, yeah. like we talk on a, like a whole different school. I go to his house, shout out Esther, like a big sister. I've, I've got in jealous. With him. I like, bro. I was a little kid. I went to his office and I was like on the chair, just riding around, bugging out his employees. No, like, what are you working oh on? Oh my god! <laughs> he told me the first time he went to your house, he's like, Primo's house is like Harry Potter, and I was like, what do you what mean? Like, it Primo, looks regular, like, and then you want? go in there and it's like a whole new world. And I'm like, fuck, I want to go to his house. And it was funny because Esther, all, I want to go to your house. <laughs> and it's funny because he has all these things he's working done and i'm like just like what'd you do that yeah how'd you do that oh, why'd you do it this way and yeah. it's like and he's like answering everything and then caddy was right there like bro shut up yeah. <laughs> like, but I was just, so seeing like a big brother do some shit like that is like amazing bro oh, like yeah. full fucking biggest artist in the world biggest and you like that's yeah. just again yeah. a testament and i know sometimes even you're like to you, it doesn't even seem crazy. No, that's but crazy. That's what that's it, no, crazy. no, no, like your, yeah. your actual. Did you end up getting tatted? <laughs> What's that? Did you end up getting it tatted? I need it. I need to get it tatted. Oh. I haven't had time, and like I've been lagging, but I need to do it. No, I, I mean it. like the artwork itself. Yeah. Like you, yeah, I'm gonna you, get the art. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. you, you look at that like yeah. it's nothing. It's 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 regular, right? It might be regular to you, but what's regular to you is like we could never. The world could never, even back then when you were probably doing your graphics for the party cruise, yeah. you probably thought like, this is, I'm just throwing this shit together. But other people would look at it like, no dog, like this is something else. Well, the, so. the funny part to me is that the ironic part about everything is that like, it keeps getting like thrown at you. Yeah. Like the graphic design job is like, hey, I know you try to like get away from it, but like here, here's this, <laughs> the again. only, the only position that you can get a, like right. uh, hired at is this one, the part-time one. And you yeah. want your foot in the door. But, like, it opens up the whole world because, obviously, like, now uh, you're a super humble guy. But, like, he does more than the graphics. Like, yeah. he's now started his own company where it's, like, marketing, mm -hmm. you know, um, outreach, all these, all this shit. Of, as well as, like, creative direction for all these, like, huge festivals that we all love and we've been to. So, it, like, it came back around where you said you wanted marketing, right? Yeah. It's, and it's, it's, like, it's everything. It's funny because it's, like... I mean, now it's it's more, I don't know. I just like to connect with people. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't even want to, like, call it marketing. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's, like, really just connecting. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, people are going to like what they connect with. It's a whole, with, like, creative yeah. kind of agency. You got to, like, you got to, like, cut through all the clutter. Yeah. And, like, there's so much stuff, you know, you see, that gets yeah. just, like, shoved down your throat every day. Yeah. So it's just, like, you know, how do we kind of, like, maneuver that? Yeah. Hell yeah. So, and the, the clothing brand. Don't don't skip yeah, over yeah. the clothing yeah, brand. The yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, this is... Uh, one of my uh, newest projects Let's with go. my two really long time friends, uh, Storm and Campbell. Storm is actually a Bad Bunny stylist yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> we're fucking asshole. Huh? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, so yeah. it's funny. I, hey, millonario, millonario. millonario, millonario. His <laughs> friends, um, Duno's friends call him that when he gets all bougie. Like, like, yeah. uh, millonario. Cool always be like, millonario, millonario. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we started this brand uh, at the end of last year. And, mm -hmm. like, Storm, Storm is really, like, he's a really creative, like, guy, too. And, like, it's re we're really kind of just helping him bring his vision to life. I love and, that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I it's funny. I introduced him to Bad back in like 20, 2018 as wow. well, probably. So you know Bad Bunny, and, um, just call him Bad, huh? And, um, <laughs> and Wait, then, what do you call him? What do you call Bad, bad. Bunny? I just call him Bad. You call him Bad? Yeah, you yeah. don't call him Benito? Or Benito, yeah. <laughs> yeah That's hard. Um, and then... So where were we at? We were talking about. Oh yeah, you're the clothing brand. You oh yeah, so the clothing. Yeah, so you connect the storm with. with I connect the storm uh, with Bad Bunny, and like, it's funny because we were just at the time like, like Storm is a very like crazy talented person too, and I was like, yo, like, like I, he was he was like styling people, but nobody like that right. legit. And then um, I was just like, dude, like this is gonna like work out. Like just trust me, just do what I say. And wow. then uh, we were just like bringing him hella clothes because he was working at like the showroom or something. Like I didn't even know what the hell a showroom was, and it's like That's the thing? it's yeah. like like all these cool yeah, the clothing brands, like you, you know, like in like yeah. it's almost like almost like a 
Yeah, just like a sh- you go. Uh, yeah. So you go and then you can like pick out. There's a bunch of brands. You can like pick out what you want. Yeah, it's for like styling and stuff yeah. like yeah. that, and like mm-hmm. put them on celebrities yeah. or that. But then you got to bring it back. We were just bringing like all this crazy clothes, like out like. I don't know, like five, ten thousand dollars worth of clothes, like every time. Wow. But it was all like dope stuff. Yeah. And then, yeah. like he loved, like he loved it. And then one day they were just like, "Yo, we need a stylist." Like, and then wow, he was there, that's and it just kind of like worked dogs. out. And then, um, yeah, so that was like a really cool thing that happened. And but since then, Bad Bunny's been the most stylish person in the world. Thanks. Like. <laughs> Shout out Storms. Shout out yeah, to Storms. Shout, Shout out, out, out to Storms. The vision and just the packaging of the artist has a lot to do with it. So, like, it just, I know you're behind the scenes. I know you are even just, we, we just saw how you look like for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. that's even, your role is so important to the success of just what Bad Bunny's doing and for people's connection to it, you know? Yeah. Forever they're going to connect with that album artwork. And that, I it's, know that was like a surprise album. Yeah. So you must have known before or did you learn like when it dropped? Like, oh, It's shit. crazy. No, I made that artwork back in, I believe it was August last year. And I didn't really know what it was going to be for, to be mm-hmm. honest. They're just like, yo, can you make this? And uh, it was like, the whole thing was like Bad's, like bad's yeah. idea. I really had like no creative input. Got I just like designed, yeah, I designed actually it. designed it. And like, he talks about it a little bit in his most recent interview. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like he was talking about like, like people are kind of like, oh, like what's the you know, meaning you had discovered? But it's like a sad heart on the beach. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so like. I, I really just try to help bring people's ideas to life. Like, Bad Bunny's really the full, like, Got creative you. Mm-hmm. visionary. Like, I really, like, he tells me what to do. Right. <laughs> like, when we're, yeah. like, making designs, like, he'll he'll tell me, like, specifically, like, what he wants, and I'll do it. And yeah. then, um, so, yeah, that's, it's kind of, not everyone works like that when yeah. you're working in design, but, like, he's one of the very few, which is why I believe he's so successful you know yeah. he's, he's literally the biggest and like hell yeah. i've worked with some artists and they're just like oh just send me some like yeah just tell me something it's a lot of like, heavy lifting you know, on your part yeah. he's very on it yeah. like he's, he's he, like he knows what he wants the direction yeah, yeah. is yeah. there he's through every step yeah exactly that's fine um but yeah so it's it's been i mean like that's still one of my favorite projects i gotta help on like some of the like animation for like oh yeah, some, like, yeah. billboards and stuff like that and digital stuff but um that's probably like the craziest one today. I didn't believe yeah. it was really happening until uh, like until it actually dropped. Yeah. Like on Spotify. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. like, I don't know, like you might change it. <laughs> like, yeah. Even after he posted it, I was it like, might, it might just be a post on Instagram, <laughs> yeah. but the yeah. album artwork yeah. something completely different. And, then, and yeah. then and then I was just like, damn, like who knows like what's gonna happen? But like, yeah, I was just so high. Like it's it's still kind of surreal. I'm just like, wow, like this actually happened. Yeah. And like to, I've been working with him for so long. Um, cry. And yeah, I shared a tear, you know. <laughs> like tear, oh, a little, was a tear. Let's um, go. Um, but yeah, that's definitely like probably the biggest thing I've done Huge. to this. It is the biggest thing I've done to this yeah. point. I just feel like this is the album that people have been waiting for from him, and like it was so highly anticipated, and then it met everybody's expectations. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like that. Delivered. The album's crazy. Makes yeah. it look even better on you because you're like, damn, this is a lot of people's favorite Bad Bunny album. Yeah, you know no, it's, it's definitely one of mine. Mine for, for sure, sure too. It's incredible. Um, I do, I do want to focus on this guy too. The ugly people yeah. is not going away. He's not going away. He does not look like you though. You what? have hair on your head. He has hair on his head. Oh, I know, but it definitely. If I shave like my head. Oh, is th- did you make ugly people after you? Uh, or was it, it was kind of just like after like my uncles, honestly. Got you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, Cause you're not feels, an ugly female, no, but yeah, it's so, so funny when you say ugly female, like that immediately attaches to yeah. us. Like, oh, we all got that one. Yeah. <laughs> that when was, I, yeah, when I fir- oh, sorry. When I first met him in, uh, at Baja Beach Fest, uh, he was holding that. And then I was like, oh shit, I've seen that, that, that meme before. Mm-hmm. And then, um, I was like. I was like, where'd you get that? And then he was like, oh, I, I made it. And I was like, oh, you just like made your own? And he's like, no, like I made it. Like yeah. I, I, I'm Ugly Primo. And I'm like, what? Like I was That's so. That's amazing. Because he was just so humble. Yeah. And I was just like, what, for real? He's like, yeah. And then I remember I was like, I was like, damn, that's crazy. And I was going to like, I had, a, I was like, damn, I'm sitting here with Ugly Primo, like on my Instagram. 
And then I was like taking video of him, and then I took video of him, and he's like, "Hey, can you take that down?" He's like, I, don't, I don't show my face, and I was like, "Oh shit, this is tight! Like this is like, yeah, he's like secret, you know what I'm saying?" And I met him on accident, you know. Damn. Just want to point out the yeah, yeah, like, legendary. And then your company is called Need Pastel, right? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us about the the reason for the name Need Pastel? I just felt like, like. Pastel, like cake, is yeah. like one of the biggest like universal symbols of celebration. Mm. Oh. And like I do so many, I've done so many parties, and like you know everything I've done really revolves around parties. Yeah, yeah. and I like to party. So like I was just like, Daddy I was does. like, he does like to party. <laughs> I was just like, yo, like I, I don't know. I just felt like it was a cool, like it was just a cool name that yeah. kind of like you know it also resonated with like ugly primo and like just like the whole vibe. And I was yeah. like. Like, I, when you're working with us, it's, like, a celebration. You know what I mean? Right. And, like, it's crazy because there was a time, like, I was trying to, like, get a manager or, like, some kind of, like, like I don't know, representation or something. Like, when I started Ugly Pudding because it was going crazy. But nobody wanted to do it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it myself. Yo, so, that's what I was yeah. like. so I became, like, my own, like, representation. I love that and then, um, so So, yeah, like. With Need Pastel, like, we're doing, like, a bunch of different, like, you know, projects. And then we produce, like, pretty much all the Ugly Pretty More content and, like, designs. And, like, it's, yeah. So that's kind of how that's I came up. So that's so fucking like, cool. Yeah. That's how I came up with the name, though. Just, like, like pastel, like, cake. Who yeah. doesn't love cake? Yeah. And um, then. Tres leches. Fat. What's your favorite cake? Yes. That one right there. Tres leches. Ooh. Tres leches cake. Oh, let's Why do CNR. Okay. With Tres leches. leches. Well, with leches. Uh, Let's do, what other cakes? Carrot cake? No. Latino. You're, you're such a European. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now it makes more sense, <laughs> the shit he says. <laughs> no, um, come on. Um, there's other cakes. Um, Red velvet? No, Latino cakes. Flan? Um, Flan's going to definitely lose, though. I don't like flan, yeah. yeah. Cheesecake? You don't like flan? Uh, I don't really like flan either. I don't yeah. like the, the texture. Tres leches wins anyway. Tres I don't, leches I don't wins. like jello. I don't like flan. I don't like the texture of it. But yeah. um, what do you think of Brown Bag, the name? Since we're here, marketing. I love the name. Let's it's, fucking it's go. Good. So, marketing genius said he likes it. And with me, Pastel, we got like the, you know how they have Michelin stars for restaurants? Oh, yeah. We have the Ugly Primo certification. Facts. <laughs> it was crazy that, that, that our name came by accident. Yeah. It came by fit really fast. We were like forever thinking of a name and i remember i was taking a shower one day and you know like they say like the water like something that's a thing supposedly pharrell creates all his hooks in the shower because just the simulation of the hot water on your head i don't know it's supposed crazy. to like tap know. into the higher whatever it was happening i was in the shower and i was just thinking of the name because we had gone by like different pilots different episodes we did and it just still it couldn't it didn't we had resonate no name. we did like three episodes with no name we were trying so hard we even did a photo shoot still didn't have a name and i was like you know it would be really cool like we have that vibe that i like everyone that's ever seen a brown bag is gonna mm -hmm. know who we are like it's some hood shit but it's also could be like some metaphor shit like latinos like money all of that and then we all screamed brown bag but i put it in my notes a bunch with a bunch of other names but it was the first one and so we we're about to record, and I'm like, fuck, I don't know if they're going to like it. Because it's a weird name. It's not like, it's not like Brown. Enough, yeah. It wasn't even Brown Bag Podcast. It was just Brown Bag. And I was like, well, I have this one. And the way they turned up, I was like, that's it. Yeah. That's how it's going to no, Don't say it. any more names. <laughs> like, yeah. that's the way. Let's fucking go. You know, like, you know we got to do a CNR for the festival in Houston. On. Okay. So we got to do, or, or, or the one that haven't came out yet. So, but some mucho. How do we do CNR that? By just the flyer, the flyer. Oh, the be flyer. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Best of okay. mucho. We are young. And what is another one you have coming up? Coming up we right young. now. That's Best that's kind of. Or I mean, lovers and friends just passed. Lovers, lovers oh, and friends was last week. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we could do. We could do best of mucho. We are young, and lovers and friends. When we were young. When we were young. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. It's easy. Best of mucho, you know. Lovers and friends is, carne asada. And when we were young is rival. Why is when we were young rival? Because that's not really my type of music, but the other two are. Best of mucho, just know I might. Woo! Yeah. Make a baby. Make I might make a baby. A little rocker baby, a little <laughs> banda baby. A little banda baby. So that's my three. So Nino, Best of Mucho, Lovers and Friends, Canasada, and Rival when we were young. Um Nino when we were young because it is old school. It's old school. It's like Really? Yeah. 
Yeah, super They're light. vibes, the vibes. Um, besame mucho carne asada, because like that's that's what we're gonna listen to at the carne asada. Like <laughs> that's where we're gonna go. Like we're gonna vibe. It's at Dodger Stadium. That is low key like a carne asada. Anytime we go there. Facts. I'm not lying. And then um, lovers and friends, because I didn't go. <laughs> Even though you guys told me I could go, I didn't go. Fuck. That's it. Your um, lovers and friends can be my rival too. Only because I wasn't there for as long as I wanted to be. Damn. And I really want to go next year. But it was just like, I just didn't. It's so hard in Vegas to like get places on time. Yeah. At least for me. Vegas is, is t- it's a crazy place. It's yeah. a crazy place. There's so many things to do. And I'm like, you know, you're with a few people. I'm with like my aunt, my uncle, my girl. And I'm like. All right, let's go. Let's try and to get really there by six. And you really gotta coordinate because it's not home. Yeah, yeah. You know, here it's home, drive, Uber, all of yeah. that. Over there is just different. And like, anytime you're with more than like four people, it's hard. Yeah. To it's like a lot. I'm Move trying to like, I'm like, let's get there by four thirty. I want to see T Pain. T Pain passes. I'm like, all right, let's really try to get there by six at least. Da da da. Then like we get there, just took forever, and I was just like, man, I was only there for like an hour. And then the next day, he was like, you want to come today? And I was like, nah, I can't. Cause we're going home and then we didn't even go home that day so <laughs> vegas is a fucking mess like it's just and then i'm drunk the entire time i'm in vegas like yeah entire time and then you so had money schools right yeah it's just it's hard <laughs> to, it's hard to like decision <laughs> make in vegas you yeah. know what i'm saying like it's yeah it's getting but, freaky too yeah yeah but you know what i'm saying all right we're back to um nino and uh, Ni- so nino uh best of my mucho for sure that's just gonna be dope and all like my Theos and Theos called me for that immediately. Mm-hmm. My Nino actually called me to go to the show. He's like, Mijo, can you please get me to the show? I'm like, yeah, I got to talk to Primo. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, and then um, when, we were, when we were young, carne asada. Because I would definitely want to go. I like going to things that aren't necessarily like my complete vibe, but just like experience it. Yeah. You mm. know what I'm saying? You want to find yeah. the white it's girl with a tramp stamp? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's crazy, though, because a lot of people feel like that about that Not show. Funny. But yeah. it's so, like, it was, like, you know, like, it was, like, a chapter in, like, a yeah. lot of people's Hell, lives. yeah. Yeah, it was, I mean? it was for sure, like, oh, like, we're the same age. So it was, like, that middle school. Yeah. Like, it was never right a phase, it, was, it wasn't a phase. It was yeah. never a phase. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, like, no, but Green dude, Day, the, like, don't want to be an American idiot. Like, all that shit. Like, I remember is, that. Is, is the girl that sings the song, the... Skater boy, is in the Avril Lavigne. Yeah, Levine? she's she's playing. Okay, I'm up there yeah, just that's for her. That's crazy. Primo, we're so proud of you. Thank we're you. We're so proud of you, and we're happy for you. And I and I hate to be like the little deep little person, but everything you do, I know it's for you. But there's this saying like, "We win, so others can dream." You're making it easier for a random person or someone like thinking like, "How do I get into this?" or "How do I work with this artist?" To be like, "Wow, like Ugly Primo could do it. I could too." You know, like that is gonna be your legacy beyond all the shit you do. It's the shit you inspire. So, big thanks, no, I appreciate sure. that. Yeah, we love you, bro. It just takes a lot of hard, a lot oh, of hours. Oh yeah, no sleep. Yeah. Vampire yeah. hours. He still like, doesn't sleep. Yeah, yeah, like that's like the one tip I have for everyone is like when you think you're working hard. You gotta work twice as hard. Facts. Like, there's always someone working harder than you, honestly. True. And that. whatever you do. And it's most so. likely a Mexican. Because Facts. Like 5, Facts. Let's clap it up hey. for that. Yeah. Hey. We're here to take your job. Are, are, you, are you sure you you want to clap for that, Vic? What? I'm Mexican. <laughs> European. <laughs> oh my god. If I'm European, Primo's I'm European. Probably, I'm probably like some, I don't know what percentage I got, but like, it's probably pretty up there. And and real quick, shout out to your wife, Esther the Lawyer, because yes. she is also doing her own thing. Power shout couple. out to Esther the Lawyer for really making sure she represents like she does in the courtroom. So big up to you, baby girl. Yeah. Big up to Ugly Primo. Power couple. Let's go. Hell yeah. I think I dropped the shoe. Thank you. All right. I think that we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing else. That was CNR. That was Ugly Primo interview. Fucking like inspiring the culture. Facts. Shout out to Bad Money, baby. Yeah. Um, great stories, amazing stories. Um, shoe. But do you guys have anything to say before we wrap? Look at the people with drunk and he lost his shoe. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's always fucked up. The drunk deal. He's always oh drunk. Oh my yeah. God. Vic? The Gemini. You guys have a All right. Yeah, you guys oh, have a Gemini. Just kidding. And he's not even I've 30 yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen him. Biggest drunk, yeah. thing. All right. Bye, wow. guys.